Oh this no! Not good. Oh god, we're getting we water. Out. Oh god! <laughs> Everybody, calm down. Are you ready to be a bang bro right now? I'm. Re can can I be? To... Can I be a, a christened as a bang bro? <laughs> christened as a bang bro. This, I think it's your day. day. You're it's about your to. Uh, you're I'm about so, to get bang bro, bro. I'm so excited. Oh. Woo! Oh my god! You know this came with the road yeah. caster. Yeah. <laughs> That's if this right? shit was copyrighted like, like or not. The clip art for sound yeah. Or yeah. That's what this is. Welcome back to another banger podcast with yeah. your your host, Brandon and Tristan. I'm Brandon. That's I'm Tristan T. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Uh, we have a freaking legendary guest on. He's one of our good buddies. And uh, we're going to talk about some crazy shit that's been going on in the world. Not 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 necessarily the world, but right. in what's yeah. been going on with old... Going on in the fishing world. Yeah, fishing world. John B. is our guest. Well, cheers, boys. Oh, cheers, First, yeah. man. Almost, cheers. Uh, thank, thank you for having me here. This this kind of happened spur of the moment. What, I text, texted you like two days ago, three days ago. I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, shit, I'm going to be in Florida. No, 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 no. This is Banger Week 3.2. 3.2, yeah. 3.2, because I just left last Saturday. Yeah. And you were like, <laughs> hey, I'm coming in this day. And I'm like, damn it, John, you can't come in any earlier. I told T, I was like, look, man, it's a big opportunity, all right? <laughs> We got JoJo Bars 33. We got Fish in the Midwest. Wow. We got John B. Rowan. Who knows what it's going to be next? Oh, that was good. I did yeah. not see you going there. Yeah. No, yeah, we're going to kick it old school. You pulled deep in the ar archives for yeah. that one. Yeah. We're oh, gonna Dude, I just got flashbacks. <laughs> I, well, okay. Let's talk about this real quick. Um, the kids on... You're, they're posting some crazy shit from back in the day where you were you caught a fish. You were like, oh, "This is the first fish," it, and oh, it goes. We watched that the other day, and it gave me chills. Yeah, Dude, it was pretty hard, honestly. Yeah, it was when you caught your fourteen pound bass, yeah, right? It was and then like, one a fish like it was like my third video I ever filmed. Yeah, and then it, like they they seamlessly transitioned it into that fourteen pounder, and I was like, "Whoa!" I was like, "That's cold." Yeah. yeah, I was pretty impressed. But no, watching like that kind of stuff is weird because. I, recently i've been just running into like strangers and they'll be like oh what do you do for a living and it's so hard to explain it's like yeah like you say you're on youtube and like yeah nice kid and like and i'm a tiktoker yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah but like the way you explain it, it's like i've been on youtube for like 11 years and like 11 years and it's like yeah it's 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 crazy because i'm i watch like how youtube changed well when did you guys get on it 2015 to 2016 is when you, we kind of You remember started. like what it looked like, like videos. I mean, yeah. it was so different even from that point on. I remember going on. Dude, that. you could post a oh, bottle cap and a million views. Yeah. Yeah. It was beautiful back then. Yeah. It is still beautiful now, but I just don't see the beauty. I can't figure out the beauty. I think I'm looking need, at it from a different. We need Elon Musk to buy lines. YouTube. Oh, good point there. Yeah. I, I will say. I think that might change The real things. life Tony Stark needs to cop YouTube real quick. <laughs> no true. one gives a shit. Twitter is just, I mean, yeah. whatever. Uh, well, for our visual people of the podcast, we have, uh, what's her name now, John? What we just name her? Uh, B-U-F. Or no, yeah. Big, fat, ugly? No. Big, fat. Ugly, be, yeah, that works. What, big, what was what? it? Big what? ugly bitch. What did we call? Big it? ugly bitch. Yeah, B U B. Bub. Yeah, that works. Big, big ugly bitch. Yeah. Uh, so we've got this. Gosh, she's huge. Oh, 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 God. I'm so. I'm. So, I'm. All right, that so is so unprofessional. unprofessional. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it's probably gonna happen again. Are you serious? Yeah, I don't really. I mean, how do you deal with that? I mean, I got a computer over there, so it's you, turn your phone off, bro. Okay. All right. Uh, well, we got a big ass bass. Uh, uh, honestly, I think if you put it on vibrate, it'll be good. But it is on vibrate. It's my computer. If you can press the mute button oh. on my keyboard, that'd be phenomenal. It's an iCloud. It's an yeah, iCloud. you know what I'm saying. Absolutely. But we got we got a big ass bass in the tank to commemorate John B's we actually, massive year that he's had a big fish. I say I say we caught it because you know I was getting strung along on a paddle board. <laughs> <laughs> we got this great idea, who John. It back. Uh, he did. Yeah. Yeah. But we had this great idea. We we're like, all right, let's get as many fish in this as we can for this podcast, and then we're gonna take them out. So well, we, we were, wanted four. Yeah, we, we wanted like four small ones. Yeah. So we're like fish. a thousand yards away across the lake. We catch one fish. We're like, all right, let's go. And then we take it back, and then we come back out and start fishing and catch another one. I was like, let's just put it on a stringer. We put it on a stringer, and then we're fishing, fishing, fishing. I hadn't fallen in yet, and mind you, it's windy. I'm getting pulled around by his kayak, which is like a badass kayak, and I'm just tied to it by this rope so when he stops i just keep going past it <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's no bad. breaks i'm getting yeah. like slung around he's power pulling down like fishing wherever he wants dude it's bad and it's i was like mess. i was yeah. like put me in this spot right here put me in this spot right here i'm gonna catch a freaking toad 
So I hook up and I, for, dude, I don't know what's going to, I haven't been fishing much. I don't know. I'm just like super rusty. And I'm like, I hadn't been setting the hook all day. So like, I'll catch a fish. I'll get it close to the paddle board. It'll fall off. I'm like, oh, that's one. But I'm like, dude, I'm on a paddle board. Yeah. Well, you, you kind of shafted him. Yeah. Well, we, we had a, we had a moment. It almost ended our friendship. Oh, today? And it, it reminded me of a very familiar moment because, uh, Tristan, basically today he lost a, uh, I lost my PB for sure. For real? It's, I I made this for you. It was it, that big. It sounded a little like this. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was a ten pounder. What were you doing? That was a ten pounder. You, you should have grabbed him. <laughs> You're kidding me, dude. Are you insane? Don't blame that on me. Uh, I, I hear this shit my night. It's it's so people think it's so funny, and then I'm like, I had to be in the boat during. <laughs> yes. Y'all don't understand this. Like the everyone's like, this is a great moment. People were like, yo, this kid is just he's whacked, like <laughs> spoiled rotten. He's just being like grumpy. I'm like, dude. Being in the boat, there was so much dead air yeah, like, yeah, for yeah, yeah. 30, 40 well, bro, minutes. He, oh. We obviously, that was like a staple in the fishing world. Like, you type it's in, just such an iconic sound. It's still going around. Yeah. yeah. The video's like 10 years old. So, we, we thought, we were like, dude, that is just a funny thing. And we filmed a podcast and I, I put it on there. I figured out how this to download it. This is before we knew you were coming. Yeah. This has been oh, on really? our soundboard. So, for I just a put minute. it on there. That's we have it one. in a few podcasts prior to this. And then I was like, dude, if John B. comes, this would be so freaking funny. Yeah. It surprise him. With. Yeah. that's beautiful but we were watching it and brandon pointed out something he was well, like i was like everybody talks about ap spiking the rod oh my god 10 pounder yeah. he freaks out right nobody talks about the fact that you just casually took a jig out of your arm you're like don't blame that on me bro just like i, I don't even do. like it's so funny because i just got so used to just getting by this kid <laughs> yeah like right before that he launched a jig in my face i'm like oh dude like you can hear the thud and he like kind of he like looks over and he's like huh, you good and i'm like yeah, i'm fine dude dude i'm yeah. just like yeah per peric is the closest because i'm an only child but per peric's the closest thing i have to like a brother like like legitimately because i think if you've got like a little brother you just want to kill each other. <laughs> yeah. You have an awful but really good relationship with them. You guys tussled you, all the time. Physically. Like, actually, tussled. yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That Orlando, the actually. What was the time you... Was that Orlando when you broke his foot or something happened? Oh, I no. broke his foot That's in... Um, on the Cape in Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah we, he, like, sprayed me. I, I was pissed. It was cold. And he's, like, spraying me with one. I'm like, do it again. Like, and do it again. <laughs> Test me. And, he, and he's like, yeah. and he does it. Of course he does it. And I chase him down. I didn't think it was that bad, but I like, I guess I like shattered his foot. And <laughs> I didn't I was like, think it was that bad. I was like, well, bro, the video, it just looks like you just toss him on the ground. And then he's like, oh, whatever. I was it was like, a very weak tackle. Yeah. Like if it was football, it'd be like, oh, he barely got him. Yeah. Uh, no, I just, I, I guess it hit him right. I'm like, you're just being a. <laughs> and then after, the, after like the first day, I'm like, he's pretty messed up. Like he's not able to walk. Yeah. Oof. So, um, but then the first time we got in a fight was like a physical fight was in Orlando. Um, and uh, it was just over the dumbest shit. Was we this during uh, iCast? Is <laughs> yeah. this like the broken phone, <laughs> toss the yeah, phone yeah. thing too? Have I told this story? I must have. No, somewhere. I just feel like we've been around so long now. It's like yeah. we sometimes I feel like, was I there? Did I just have people tell me? Or Bro, do I remember that? There was one night and one of the nights in iCast. I don't even know if you remember it. We had this badass house and we were playing fruit ninja with real fruit and a real knife me you and brandon that sounds i have the right. video i don't know if you've seen you it. might have to pull it up because <laughs> oh you're right God. i don't yeah. remember honestly <laughs> <laughs> and I then to admit it dude we have so many stories like uh there was a night at i think it's called haywire in dallas yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and uh he was he was uh, trying to leave he kept trying to leave so oh, yeah. me me you we were all sitting in this uh like a booth booth yeah. and we took it you took his phone and dropped oh. it down the back that was bad he was really pissed about that <laughs> yeah there'd be some times where like i would take it too far like i ha i'd have to, i have to admit like i'd just be like all right i should probably stop but, but then there'd be times i'd be like no f this kid he just did this to me. <laughs> <laughs> be like, be like nah, payback you, bro. yeah payback. literally pay it's, it is like a it's like seriously like a brotherly relationship not so much anymore i don't really talk to peric as much as i would like yeah um but you know, maybe like a, probably like a year ago, maybe like two years ago, right around this time, like May, we were hanging out a lot. Yeah. We were chilling. He was still in Texas. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, no, I've known that kid for a freaking hot minute. Long we'll, time. we'll get into, uh, we'll dig a little deeper. Yeah. Let's, let's in, walk before we run here. So. Yeah, we'll <laughs> we'll dig a little deeper into AP, but 
I don't want to have to get under the table and just start giving you a freaking mouth to member here, but uh, I remember a long time ago. Dude, I mean, how long ago was this, Tristan? I don't know, dude. I'm searching for this Fruit Ninja video right now. <laughs> I want to see this. Tristan was living in my living room, or actually in our kitchen, and yeah. it, sharing a two-bedroom apartment, three people. Tristan's there was like this area kitchen. where your di- your dining room supposed to be. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I, me and my dad could build a loft right here, and I could live here. And So I built my bed. My bed was literally... <laughs> it was a tree house in our living room. It was room, two is feet saying, above bro. the... The ceiling. ceiling. So my bed was up there. I could literally crawl in, lay down, and you then were over the dining area. No, there was no dining area no more because I was the dining <laughs> oh, area. Oh, was the dining. Area. <laughs> nice. There so was a kitchen, was Tristan Tristan's room, and living room all in one space. Yeah, and then my my all my stuff, clothes, everything was under that. Holy shit! Yeah, was, I, I say that to say this. Tristan and I were living a much different life than we live now. Right. But at that time, we were watching John B. and A. P. Basson. Yeah. The duo. Wow. It was Oh, big girl just got. Oh God, big girl's getting after. No, no, no. Oh no! Holy Everybody, calm down. It, calm. Everything is down. okay. Okay. Oh God. Oh, oh no. Oh God, we're getting we water, water out. Oh God. <laughs> Everybody, calm down. We need another towel. She uh, is getting uh, every, aggressive. Everybody's chill. Uh, audio only. Step your game up and watch this mother video. Wow. Oh my God. Back to our sentimental moment, <laughs> dude. That is. Dude, Probably doesn't help that she's a little blind. Yeah, she also is blind. Uh, we have a whirlpool in here. That's right, baby. Damn, dude, it's like it's like, the, down, it's like the killer whale. It's killer whale. It says. Yeah, yeah, she didn't even give maybe like one eighth of her mm. power either. No, so. no, no, no. You can hear the tank. Oh yeah, rocking. She's thudding. Um, dude, so I gotta wh- find this. Tristan, you are. We're so beyond that ninja. You go for it. You find it. Right I'm gonna what, be there. What I will say this: it is very cool because. Um, you know, we watched Guggen Squad before they were Guggen Squad. We just watched you yeah. all as individuals. And you and AP had a very specific v- bond on camera. And I always told Got you- it. Oh, f- Let's go, let's go. This is Fruit Ninja, go. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even see the video, but I He's can imagine. Jo- I, I thought it was John B. who was chopping. It was you. It was me? Yeah, yeah, it hit yeah. the oh. ground and you were still chopping. <laughs> I pictured John B. with a samurai <laughs> too. for some reason. I'm pretty sure he did it too, but anyway. Well, what I was going to say is before you guys were Guggen <laughs> Squad, we, I, I always told Tristan, because oh you know we were just God. getting into the YouTube stuff, and I always told Tristan, we can be the John B. and AP of underwater. So Y'all kind of are. We kind of are, and, and Tristan's definitely AP. He's our wild card. <laughs> He's our wild card. How do you feel about that? He's our wild card. He's a piece of shit. I'm just kidding. No. I was going to say, if you don't say it, I'll say it for you. No, no. On a serious note, there's like, I I really enjoy AP. No, I I do too. I was super close to AP. I don't know what happened to him, but I really enjoy AP. Same. The the time that I got to spend with him, really enjoy it. So I don't know as far as what that means. No, you're just our wild card. You know, AP was the wild card. He was. He's the wild card. The unpredictable yeah. one. Right. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what no, I mean. Like, do but anything, I feel, anytime. I feel like, we're, John, you are the unpredictable one, too, as well. Actually, you're very predictable. I, I can't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's just reckless. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I am predictable because you know exactly what I'm, what I'm about to break or right. do that I'm going to regret the next morning. That's, that's right. That's, yeah, that's true. You're, yeah, you, you nailed it. Oh, she's betting. I'm so nervous with this big <laughs> ass fish. Dude, this was squirting. This is terrible idea for the podcast but uh yeah um anyway what what is cool is it's kind of come full circle so it's like watching you guys you guys i feel like you gave us the blueprint of like how to show our friendship on camera and i don't know it's just kind of cool and now like we all became peers and friends of each other and well it's like we saw the first ever video that i saw of john p a p bassin was um what was it what is it never stop tour i tell you this every time the very first one where the Yeah, that was West film. That was yeah. before Wes even worked right. with us. That was and uh, I was just like, dude, this was so sick. Like I, at the time, we're going to college. We're cheering, competitive cheer, and like, but we also had this dream at this time. We're also filming, and we were like, we don't know well, where you guys this had could a go. Prior relationship before even YouTube. That's right. the beauty of it. It's like, yeah. a, like you know, I love like Rob and Flair and Rackley. Like those are all like really great people and then i have a connection with them relationship with them but the thing with Peric and i is we went to high school together right so like like y'all y'all had a previous relationship and then then you were able to apply that to then the whole youtube life which is totally different right it gets interesting it kind of tests you you know there's some people that go into youtube whether they have separate or 
conjoined channels and they don't go out they don't get out of it very well right like, i think it made us know. stronger you i think, think it yeah be, because i believe and still to this day it's part of the reason why this podcast is us i mean you know this kid has to literally fly or drive i know that's, to get down i saw here. your story 5 30 a.m and i'm like you must really be about this shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm like yeah. He's in the really, airport at 5.30. I'm like... Yeah. I truly believe Tris and I are much more powerful together than separate. Dude, I think we both, like, just complement each other so well. Strength in numbers. Right. Even if it's two. Right. Yeah. I, I'm a huge believer in that. I've, I've never been the type of person who just thinks that you can get... You just get it done by yourself. Yeah. It's not practical. And if you are the type of person, then, you know, yeah. good on you, but... This uh, may be a stretch here. I don't know if this is possible. We talked about this a long-ass time ago. You and I? Yes. Well, it was mentioned. I, I pitched some ideas your way. Yeah. Never stop tour three. Is it, is it in the realm of possibility? It know. might not be planned, but is it possible that we get one? I think it's, I think I'm ready. I think Wes is ready. I'm not sure about Alex. Right. I, I think anything's possible if you put your mind to it, but <laughs> somebody's got to put their mind to it and their got heart it. and their soul. And I think, he, I think Perry is, I, I think he wants to. I think the issue is just getting because I mean the last one we did was a was a month, mm -hmm. month. which was That's really cool because we, we were there for the premiere or whatever we watched the, it yeah, in your boat HQ. Dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that yep. was cool so that was really really cool and uh, I've never been any, to anything like that not that it was like a full on movie premiere but I mean we had fans there like, it was hundred degrees in a yeah. barn it was bad <laughs> but still it was cool. still really it did cool. feel cool watching it in the boat that mm -hmm. the the yeah. you know series yeah. took place in it was cool it's a grinder though. But you yeah. think it's possible? I think a lot of people are hopeful hearing that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's completely out of the question. I think that there has to. Because the thing is, like, ever. So the last one was, or the first one was good. <clears throat> the second one was good. Third one's got to be better. Right. So I don't know what that means. Does it mean more time? Is neither like you got to get? I I've got you know family now, so I got to explain to my family. I got. I might have to be gone for a month. Right. Or maybe a little bit. Or like two weeks here, yeah. make it look like you, and then go back two yeah. weeks. A yeah. little we, bit of movie magic. And we only did a month just to have a huge buffer. Because, right. you know, you, you get somewhere and it's blowing 90 and it's raining. And it's, oh, yeah. You can even go outside. So it's, yeah. that's the only reason why I did that. But no, that's, 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 it's possible. I think I, so. I love that answer. Yeah. I'm glad it do. wasn't a closed, yeah, closed. closed. We no, talked no. about it. It's not going to happen. No, no that's super think so. awesome. I think people are really, uh, Hopeful to hear that. You've been doing a lot of series now. You've yeah. always like sprinkled series in, but it almost seems like every thing you're doing now is like more serious. Yeah, I, I think the reason why I was, I, we'd like Caleb and I have started doing that um, is because a lot of the videos, like the one off stuff, yeah. like going to Pont, like some of them do good, but most of them are just like they're flopping. Right. Doing really bad. Yeah. And like, that for you know, I, I don't want to continue to do YouTube for the rest of my life, but I'm this is my baby, right? You know, no matter what I'm doing, I still am going to post videos, yeah, right. Um, so I kind of hit a rut and I'm like, what the like, what's what can I post that's yeah. going to do good that people enjoy? So I was just like, I'll just go back to something that people liked, and I looked to some of my other series and they did good, and the feedback right. was awesome. I read the comments, yeah. and so we just did that, and it did really good. We filmed uh, like this, actually, we're filming, I guess, part two of that now, um casting concrete and yeah it's, that's it, sick and that that was like the first <laughs> like a lot of the videos were really doing bad and that was the first one that did good for me in a matter of like a three month time period so i was like F i would rather spend you know a week and a half two weeks on a project opposed to right. like film a bunch of little BS well you videos. did like a, a little series not casting concrete but the kato kato yeah i actually watched that and it was really really sick Thank you, man. and and it was fun that place just looks raw yeah it's raw it's, it's so cool. I, no one, no one. So we like, I was like, all right, I, every time we do a video, I'm like, has it been done? Yeah. You know, so I'll look up, has anyone filmed something like this before? And it really hasn't gotten publicized like it should. Um, but it's sick. It's just all cypress trees. And then like you lost power, all the shit. And then y'all are just like fishing on the dock. Oh, We're, you really watched it. Yeah. I, wow. I was hung over a shit uh, <laughs> nice. one morning. He's got to be. To watch and your videos. no that. no do, no this shit. is this is what happened is i always check in with our boys this is what i've always said it's like i always check in but i'll usually just like watch a little bit of the video yeah, and then i'll be like all right cool like leave a like whatever and i just keep tabs on everybody just like what everybody's doing the other morning i was just like not feeling well 
and I'm laying there, and I was just like, let me just put something on because I can't reach the remote. Was to this turn our, on. our together yes. morning? Yes. We got blasted on a podcast. Nice. The yes, next day great. was terrible. Horrible. Like yeah. hung over till like 4 p.m. Yeah. That's the worst. Yeah. You can't even get your ass up on So yeah. I couldn't even turn on the TV, and I was like, dude, I want to just have some noise because this headache is so bad. Yeah. And so I was just watching, I watched one YouTube video and, but I've gotten on this kick where I'm, I don't click on the videos. I just scroll cause you can watch them without yeah, clicking the video, I which too. I think is sick. Yep. And, uh, it's like a mini TikTok, I don't know, or something. It's a preview. Yeah. Right. A little preview. But, uh, so <laughs> somehow your video was like, I just went on my subscribe and, uh, your video started playing and I was like, okay, that's some cool B-roll. Let me, f all right. Oh shit. And then I, the you video ends. In, huh? The video ends, and I'm like, F dude, it felt like the old days watching John B. Before I know, I knew you. That's what we wanted to do. We wanted to just kind of. It back was to good. The way y'all put it together yeah. was killer. Yeah. So Caleb crushed it. That means yeah. a lot, though, dude. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, but I was I was gonna ask. So the catfish, which were huge, that y'all caught, were y'all just doing that for filler, or just like, hey, we want to do this because it, it would be fun. I love everything outside of bass fishing. Yeah, I do too much. It makes me kind of like sick especially after this year it's been a good year so i just want to kind of do something right. else we had a few to drink and we were also like well, you didn't have power right that day we had power right we had power so we we had power and we had time to kill and we were like okay let's just do something other than bass right so caleb can throw an eight foot and then i can't uh so he like got a singular <laughs> he's like shad. he's like well this one's weird because the 10 foot net you bite it and throw it here but this one you're like oh, i'm like four foot net, and that's it i like i'm like a, like just like it's basically like a little baby pancake right? yeah a little baby pancake so he tossed it out there got a shad and we just had fun we caught two catfish we were going for garb but there i guess it's that bayou's loaded for yeah catfish yeah but. that is cool no that i mean really cool. that was a, that was a sweet place if you guys ever go back down in texas check yeah, out yeah it's just like get lost in there good duck cool. hunting there oh cool. yeah that's cool. fucking creepy though you can like it you want to hide a body oh that's a spot title john b wants to hide a body that's in the cotto <laughs> hey listen i won't hide a body but i'll be the the consultant you yeah. know i'll pick the spot for <laughs> anyone who's damn all right just, just slide kidding. the dms with that yeah, baby. is that guy <laughs> who the <laughs> is that that's like oh no i hit it again um so Damn. You, yeah, so you burn out on bass fishing. Rightfully not burn not burn out, just a little, like do a little break. We need to chill. Yeah. I mean end on a good note. You fing slayed some giants. Yeah, I got very spoiled. You've gotten some crazy fish in general though, besides bass. One that yeah. you're most known for chasing is the GT. The GT. GT. The old we don't I saw oh, you, do we, saw you at the GT. Do we, I, <laughs> saw, I was gonna I was gonna did ask, go back in the water? Do we uh <laughs> Do we have beef, Jumbie? I think you... No, you definitely put it back in the water, right? <laughs> I know that was just like... You were, you were carrying it to some clean water. Is that what was going on? Yeah. No, I actually don't care at all. Matter of fact, when we first went GT fishing, uh, the guy that we, we GT fished with, he, I brought it on board. I was like holding it. Yeah. And he like slid its gills and I'm like... <laughs> We're going to put it back. But they don't speak any English. Yeah. yeah. And they don't need, like those charters and anything. Oh, I'm like, man. Oh. So I'm like, all right, we got we to gotta sell this release. So yeah. I just went, yeah, just dunked him quick, man. I, uh, no, no. Did you, you ate it, didn't you? Uh, I've got a story to okay. tell you about this. Um, you killed so it and ate it, correct? No bullshit, John. When I... Oh, shit. Do we got to cut? Okay, cool. Uh, no bullshit. When... I was telling Ryan, the guy who, I mean, this guy is world class, man. He really is one of the best spear fishermen in the world. That's when I was. Hardcore sport, by the way. So crazy. Yeah. Um, well, you I, told me about, uh, hold on. When you went uh, in Indi <laughs> Indonesia, sorry. <laughs> That's so I did fun. Hear about it. Uh, the guy that y'all went with or something told you about them spearfishing, them getting drug and just. They oh, killed his brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I killed was his brother. I'm sorry. Yeah. I you were talking about. I thought you were going to bring it the first time. I no. Went spear fishing, yeah. <laughs> I thought no. about that too. <laughs> Doggy paddle and like, I don't see no fish, bro. We can talk about that too. No, yeah, we, the, the guy we went with, we went, when I like first first went spear fishing, yeah, he, his brother got drugged in by a, a. They assume it was a GT. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they just found his gun. Yeah. Scary. Oh wow. And then he's telling me this as I'm going for the first time. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, no, totally, dude. Like, I can hardly swim. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I've got the swimming. I've experienced. I got that. the swimming abilities of like a draft dude so yeah it it actually is pretty representative of what i saw from john b swimming <laughs> is that was that a good comparison yeah it's like a giraffe with a drowning rat <laughs> like with like a couple dumbbells attached yeah. to his ankles that's yeah. very close yeah
when I was diving in Hawaii and I was aware that there were GTs there, big deal for me. It's like, as a spear fisherman, that is a serious, like... That's top dog fish. That is the top dog yeah. fish there. And uh, there's some really smart, like, reef fish that are very sought after that, like, you prove yourself as a spear fisherman. But, like, I don't know, man. Like, they're smaller than all the fish in those tanks. Yeah. You know what I mean? You want like something with something. Yeah, and you're just killing like fish tank fish, right? Right. It's well, like, it's, I mean, uh -huh. kind of. Yeah, I mean, there's some that are like that. You're, and like, then, you're like capping clownfish. It's like, damn. Right. Or you go out in like deep blue water and shoot like tuna and stuff like that. But That's we didn't sick. have the tuna running, so I didn't have the opportunity. But we were looking for a GT this whole time. Luckily, it was towards the end of the trip where like my diving had progressed. But when I told Ryan, and he was like, we will find you a GT. We just have to put in the time. Wow. We have to put in the time, but they really are here. We'll find it, and we'll get you that fish. And I knew in the <laughs> back of my head, I was like, this is going to be epic to everyone, that picture. And I was like, John is going to be so <laughs> pissed about seeing a dead GT just appeared, bro. I was, like, I was like, I mean, the, th the thing about it is um, – 90% of the people that catch them mostly keep them. I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah. like yeah. they're, they're a good eating fish. Um, the, the thing though is the thing is though, is it's like, I don't know what I was going to say. I just lost my train of thought. Is well, for you, it's a sport fish. Yeah, but I don't fish from that much. So I, really, yeah. I actually don't really care. It's like, it's not like, it's like, I'm, that's my spot. You're, I just felt you know? like you were like really deeply connected. No. It was just in no. the back of my head where like, everyone's going to think this is cool. And John's going to look it's at this. Not like, like, it's not like I got the fish tattooed on me or anything. <laughs> no, we're, gonna, we're also going to talk about that. I got some shit to talk about that. Oh God. Oh but God. Uh, anyway, I want to tell you what happened with this GT. I think yes. you'll really respect Sorry, this. Sorry, going. Especially with the art side of you. You're a very artsy I am. I have noticed that about you. Yes. So um, there is a tradition in Hawaii called gaiutaku. Are you familiar? No. Very cool process. So any trophy fish, instead of mounting it because the fish are oh, eaten I there, about to say. they paint the paint fish, the fish yeah. they lay rice paper over the fish and pull the rice paper off, therefore leaving a print exactly of the fish down to the scale in the veins. That's so hard. Very cool. Yeah. So... I was in Big Island, and this guy, I believe he lived in Kauai. I could be wrong. So we freaking, I bought a plane ticket for this fish on ice, shipped it to him, had him do his whole. You're RC mother. That's hardcore. It was the only way to capture that yes. real traditionally. And it's worth it. And he is the best artist in Hawaii. Wow. It's going to take six months to get here, but not only is he doing. Oh, it's not done? Six months, bro. He's, he's doing, he oh. did the print, sent me a picture of the print. But then he comes in and paints it, like each scale. Fills it, it in. Takes a <clears throat> long time. Wow. It's going to be very cool. And so um, I'm really excited to get and that. it's the scale of your actual fish. It is the fish, bro. See, that's, that's really sentimental. Yeah. So you've got a, like, it's I think like that. A, I, it's like getting a deer mounted, kind of. Yeah. But, It'd be, you know what but, it is? Like killing a deer and then taking its face and just. <laughs> 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 that's my deer. And hey, baby. <laughs> As Big Billy right under the it's feeder. Like really shitty abstract. <laughs> I think those are antlers. Oh, oh shit, that was his ass. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I thought I thought you would like that. I didn't get to that eat the cool. fish because I was leaving. It was piece literally the last, last fish I shot. Shit. But he did send me a video of everyone enjoying the fish. He uh, gets that cool. quite often where like people send the fish, but it would spoil by the time he did it. So, yeah. But he had his family eating it and sent me a video. It'll all be on a video like in six months when I get the piece of art. That's but so cool. And I thought you're, you you're, would like that. The cool thing about this is you're anticipating it too, right? Oh my god, that's, dude! I'm that's so the thing. Excited, I love, bro. I love that feeling. We're yeah. just like waiting for some like so project excited. to get finished. Like, yeah, especially artwork too. Yeah, man. So about this GT tattoo. Yeah, <laughs> we were uh, totally sober, and I, uh, you know, I did it by myself, and it was great. Even better than that. Got it at two p.m. <laughs> Hell, where'd my you mom get and my it? dad were there. Where'd you get it? I got it above a place where they <laughs> give rub and tugs. Wait, how the fuck do you know that? <laughs> he went there also. <laughs> no, he was like, he, well, it got me in a good mood to get a tattoo. No, there's, some people, there's some people who know about it. No, oh, no. wait, is oh, this shit? No, no. Oh, no. F you know, blur that this out. Is, blur this that is out. The United <laughs> States of America. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Wow. Uh, oh. it was a, actually, you guys went in the coordinates. I got it somewhere. <laughs> he has Sick. that tattooed on yeah, the yeah, back. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> that tattoo is right here. Three likes on this video. Trish and I will go see if he's uh, telling the truth or not. No, we'll go uh, there. See no, for ourselves. It was a. So. Damn, can I even say this? I don't think I can. Uh, we'll blur we'll it out if you think about it. Okay, no, I'll just say it. So it was, so it was a weird situation. I, 
Do you want me to tell a story? I guess? Yeah. Okay. Well, well we don't have to put it in. We can cut it right here. Well, no, no, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make okay. it. Okay. No, yeah. make it raw. Okay. I want to know the raw story. <laughs> John's like, cool. I don't know. If I want to make it raw. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of raw going on in the round. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> anyway. All right. You want to? Can we mute mics? I really want to hear this. No, no, no. You can just cut it out. Okay. I'll just like. All right. Stop. We're cutting this out. Okay, perfect. Cut the part out where I say who found out who got the <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, 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 okay. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This title is going to be Rubbing Tugs oh, and Drunk Tattoo. Fuck. And just okay. me going like this. Um, it, like this is when we had the Guggenhaus. Yes, Remember that? That was, that was live. Wild yeah, time. Yeah, like a okay. million dollar home that we just. <laughs> ruined and de we didn't get our twenty thousand dollars security deposit back Jeez. whatever it's all good i think it's fine um well, yeah it was like typical guggen week or day and oh, we yeah. had a successful day of filming so we thought hey let's treat ourselves we filmed the shitty video and let's go to the bars i don't know what we were doing i think we just got alcohol and brought right. it home. yeah so nice. we're, you know we're icing each other we're drinking white claws it's, it, the uh the juices are heavily flowing right. like full on niagara falls and uh i think this is back in the day when everybody went hard yeah. yeah, everyone was on the same page. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I just look at drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened? Dude? I don't know, dude. I'm like, Wait, you know when I'm LFG like, starts slurring his words, everybody's you done. You know what's funny? Is everyone slowed down, but he's seen. Yeah. yeah, it is true, and it's low key, dude. Yeah, yeah. He was Super like, low key. is that your like tenth one? <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get him on the podcast during Google when he was. Hey, he, was, he was too bright. <laughs> he was like, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think people just see me like this. I was like, you're yeah, correct. That's a, that's a good one. We that would have to good. blur his yeah. face the whole time. He was like, Ugh. <laughs> he gets so bad, dude. Man. He gets which, so bad. Hey, you know what? Enjoy yourself. Um, oh, I love it. I think we've all been there. Yeah, multiple times. <laughs> yeah. As I take another step. We'll probably end up in the lake tonight. There's no telling. <laughs> well, we're, yeah, I mean, we got a water mission. I think a couple more baths could fit in there. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'll show you how to keep 14 where, pounders. Where, where, where's your live scope? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Do you have it on your kayak? I got no. it on my jet boat that Guggen so really? kindly gave me. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, by the way, that oh, motor man. that didn't hurt, you want to know what was wrong with it? It what? needed a zip tie believe it or not <laughs> i swear to god you know, not you know, kidding so it didn't work Peric. <laughs> i i no 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 Wait, it, it was really, it really didn't really? it would be like <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it was <laughs> dude it was so i was like i wow i just literally got this boat and it's gonna cost me so much money yeah it needed a zip tie zip, zip tie where is so so mercury makes the outboard yeah. but they customize their own outboard to make them jet drives right. there is a specific sensor that you have to trick and it's you have to hold the wire up anyway so it's computer based it's, it's a redneck from factory situation that mercury has wow. and you guys never got the zip tie so my guy got the zip tie <laughs> it's probably just, a twenty thousand dollar zip tie did you just finesse us no finesse. let me tell you i had a brand deal Dude, that, that i didn't get paid for and that was my well, no. Amen, he, brother. It's not. I, the, I didn't no, invoice for it. No, he, he doesn't know how to invoice. I didn't invoice. So. <laughs> I have someone that now knows how to invoice, but I did get a free boat out of it, kind of. So just, yeah. Dude, it was just sitting there collecting dust. Somebody yeah. had to take it. Well, now it's collecting Krispies. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. I love it. So, we'll see. I don't have it yet. Krispies but. as in GTs? Or? Uh, I mean, no what, GTs. honestly, no bro? More, no more GTs. 14 pounders from here on out. <laughs> Spear them. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's under 10. Put it back. Yeah. Hey, oh, wow. There, there is, I swear to God, you're, this might even be more. Oh, no. There is a place where you can spear smallmouth bass, and I want to do it so bad. Can you imagine the picture on Instagram of him carrying it like he's in Hawaii with a, the 14 pounds nice. large yeah. mouth? No, but yeah. it's a stringer of them over yeah. my phone. They're all just like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, big bulging eyes just over the old shoulder. I'll I want to sponsor that endeavor. I, I will too. fully endorse it. You know, in really? Louisiana, it's a 10 fish limit. So if we all go, we can get 30. <laughs> Wait, in a bass? Yeah. Oh my God. 10 fish I'm sure limit? you can spear them too. <laughs> it, honestly. Only when, only when they're on beds though. <laughs> only when they're spawning. After, right before the eggs lay, mm -hmm. you're allowed to shoot. <laughs> During their reproductive period is when you can kill them with a spear. Okay. Other than that, it's off limits. You, you want to know what's up is we were out there catching fish for this fish tank they're gonna go back in but yeah i asked the guy who was on a kayak i was like bro you catching them he's like yeah i got one of them i was like 
any size, he pulls it up on a stringer. Oh. I was like, oh, sick. <laughs> I was like, you eating that? He's like, yep. So every he time. He was like we, this big. So yeah. Are we going over there after this? And <clears throat> Dude, it, what? Are we going over, going over there after and grubbing with him? Honestly, just... we could throw these bitches on the grill right now. <laughs> Catch, clean, cook with John B. <laughs> in the 14 batch. Just, eight, 14 pound just does eight pounder in your sink. <laughs> just Honestly, Bro, God. you know what? Okay, so I have a story. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we were going this somewhere. Is, we, we were I talking about the tattoo thing. Oh yeah, we were about oh. to. <laughs> yeah, god damn. All right, go. That's how you know we're having a good time. Okay. This, this conversation is branched into like thirteen different. <laughs> People are like, Tristan had a story. And he's never gonna. We're never gonna know. All take, right, I, I caught notes. a four pound freaking spotted bass, and I was on a. On I was a on cliff. A, a cliff, fifteen <laughs> foot ledge, dude. I reeled down as far as I could. I pick it all the way up, and it goes. Ding, cuts the line. I was like, no! Dude, hits boom, hits it and goes. <laughs> it's just laying there. And I call Brandon. I'm like, yo, dude, I was doing a fishing video. Like, in Columbus, it's really my, hard to catch fish. It's very hard to catch fish. And you know, because oh, you I went know, and fished know, with yeah, Jake. Busting my f- for a spotted bass. <laughs> and this is in the time where you don't trash videos. Like, yeah. I don't know if yeah. you can. It was back at, like, dude, you catch one fish, it was a video. Yeah, you go back and look at my videos, and you can tell. <laughs> <laughs> you don't trash videos. Right. But so I was trash. like, Brandon, what do we do? What do I do? And I said, he was like, you got to cook it. I said, brother, <laughs> there's two things. That was the first catch clean cook on my channel. <laughs> you trash the video, or you bring that home and cook it. I love it. How, how innocent it was, though. I was like, what do we do? Like, <laughs> what do I do? The, I literally, on FaceTime, I'm like, Brandon's I'm like, trying to revive her. I'm trying to revive her. This might have been like before. No. It, was just, a, it was just a call, yeah. I was like, I'm trying to revive her. I think she'll be good. Bro, she she's goes, like this. <laughs> you know like, the, the no. fish twitch? Yeah. The broke back fish twitch? Yeah, yeah that was yeah, it. Dude. Spinal tap on the way down. I just, oh, yeah. I felt so bad. There's nothing you can do, man. Catch and cook. <clears throat> but, yeah, so. Uh, All right, so anyways, You, you got a BT tat. Yes. Did you want to go into any more? Because I have more questions about we tattoos. We definitely, we, hold up, yes. We got to get the right. story out. I'll okay. set it up for you, so. Guggenhaus, old Guggenhaus, getting sauced. Funny story, two of my friends that were visiting from England, very proper folk. They the were, guys with the, uh, the, the catch, the, the carp catchers. Carp car on out. Yeah. Yeah, so they were in town. Yeah, we watch you. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we see you out here catching carps and shit. Hey, man, we know who you is. They, uh, they were in town, and I think that they were, they were also having a few as well, <laughs> which is funny because it's just so, they were so proper. Um, but uh, yeah, we had this impulsive decision. We're like, you guys want to get tattoos tonight? And Paris like, I'll get a tattoo. You want to get a tattoo? And Flair's like, I'll get a tattoo. Yeah. I, I, I want to say it was only Flair and I that ended up getting one. Yeah. So we were like, it's like 2 a.m. Nowhere's <laughs> open. Mm. Okay, we're just being idiots. Like, no, someone's got to be open. Yes. All the best tattoo artists are out at 2 a.m., by the way. <clears throat> yeah, all the best worst. All yeah. the best of the worst. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we, uh, we found a spot. <clears throat> it's in Louisville. So and bring your own needle kind of situation. Yeah, bring bring no, your own needle. No, it was share share needles. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah well, yeah, well, the save on cost. You can you can save fifty dollars <laughs> if you want to use the guy's previous needle. Sick. <laughs> yeah, literally. Who knows? Um, and uh, we found like this, like you know, like those strip malls. Yeah. Yeah, like those ones where like half of the strip malls just been out of business since the eighties. Yeah. yeah. So it was like an upper decker one, and uh, we're like, <laughs> I think this is it. We're like walking yeah. up, and like the oh. lights not really on. We're like knocking on the door, and the door's locked, and the guy's like comes around back and he's like what's up and he's like oh, we're just we want to get a tattoo you open and he's like yeah i'm open you guys drunk and we're like no we're good <laughs> and he's like all right good because if you're drunk i won't give you a tattoo and meanwhile the whole room just smells like weed yeah it just reeks of ganj and i think uh flair <laughs> might have been up first flair got this honestly goofy ass like hook flipping tattoo hook on. right yeah, it's like a fat <laughs> flipping hook which is funny because like i just would if you told me he had that now i'd be like really yeah <laughs> <It's> <laughs> big Hold on, we're going to get there, but he had yeah. something to match on the other yeah. side now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, did he? It was in a TikTok recently. Oh, bro. No, no, no. Okay. Don't even. Okay, yeah, okay, we're okay. going to get Hold there. On. But gonna, anyway, so. I didn't know this. You get your tattoo next. Yeah, then I get my I get my tattoo. I get lined up next. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, at I'm, this point in time, have you caught a GT? Yeah, I had caught one. Okay. That's, the one that, that's the one that's the one that didn't make it nice same my first gt didn't make it either i have no idea what happened it's you, like a thing you got to revive them a little longer after yeah. they hit the frying pan yeah <laughs> jesus christ no it's fine i think it's chill um so i'm i'm getting i'm getting my tattoo and i'm like holding up this f- up like because he's like well you got to print it out so i'm like i don't know where to get this picture but I had some guy made like a design and I had to like look through my Gmail to pull it up and he prints it out and his ink's all f***. He's like, I think I can do it. 
And he's like, he's doing it, and he's just, <laughs> f- oh. he's f- drunk. He's asking us if we're drunk. Oh, he's drunk. He's no. drunk as hell. And he's like, he's getting. I'm like, I'm pretty lit too. So I'm like, whatever, bro. Just give me. A, oh, this is basically God. a kitchen tat. Yeah. Dimly lit. Like, I don't know, man. It was just. Yeah. But it was all right. He was cool, and we were all talking, we were shooting the shit, and having fun. So I'm getting, I'm getting my tattoo, and uh, it's looking like absolute dog water, like garbage. And oh, uh, he he finishes up, and I'm like, yeah, you know, whatever. It's my yeah. first tat. It'll work. I think it was like 50 bucks. It was like super <laughs> cheap. Pay him in cash. And then we're, we're going downstairs and walking downstairs. And there was like another like kind of dimly lit store. And uh, I turned the corner like, what the hell is that? I shit you not with a piece of loose leaf. It says massages, $25. Oh, God. Loose leaf paper. Yeah. No, like with, no, I'm with not lines. even kidding. Oh no! Like yeah, a like, notebook, like, 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 like a they, spiral like notebook. They wrote it in a hurry, like written like, with uh, a number two pencil. <laughs> yeah, like like a, like a big pen. Oh my! And God. the light was on, and I'm like, bro, this is <laughs> you ain't getting a massage on your back, your neck, your thighs, your legs. You're getting a massage. All the above. Yeah, in your yeah. Wow. Inner thigh massage. Yeah. Yeah, so we all flooded in there. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, just, we did not. All right. No, but it was it was pretty wild. Oh Jesus Christ! All right, I remember well, the story. They, back then. Dude, they disappeared. <laughs> we're, all right, we're gonna where'd they go? Where'd we're they gonna go? start on another. Th- we are going. I'm so sorry, audio <laughs> and visual. There's a big gap, and that's for uh, good reason. This is the thing. We haven't talked to old Johnny Boy in a long time, so we're really shooting the shit, just reminiscing. We're catching up. This is natural. As well, hell. let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't know how you know about a good tattoo. With like good lighting and shit, <laughs> because when I saw you getting tattooed, do you remember you the other? A, well, this was actually a Guggen Squad video. You were getting oh, a wiener dog, yeah. and in then a, in the and state of Ohio, root, <laughs> Ohio which, roots, which is now a meme, bro. Everyone memes about Ohio. I'm like, yo, cut this, damn, bro. So yeah. let me ask you, but not like, like not like outlines, like dark. Oh, it's filled. They're in, dark, bro. He's like, do you want to fill it in? I'm like. Yeah, I was like, I, I, I don't know what that you don't means. remember this, yeah. but we had so much to drink. I was like, John, no, no, John. You're like, ah, just do it. Thank you, thank you for. At I least was like, trying. no, it looked good. Let me, let me not, tell not you that it's bad or whatever. It's fu- it's an awesome memory. Uh. But like before, it was like outline of a wiener dog. I was like, I was just try- sick. I was just trying to get you to change the location. You're like, no, 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 bicep. <laughs> Bicep. <laughs> yeah. I was drunk and it hurt. Like, Bicep oh. for the that winter. Was the, I got a camel toe on my toe that night. That was the yeah. Same. yeah. Yeah. You yeah. and Rob both did, didn't you? Yeah. But, yeah. but sh- uh, share. Uh, Flair got a shotgun on his leg. Yeah. Do you know that? Oh, the, the, le- the opposite left one. Yeah. yeah. So he got yes, a flipping hook that. on one, a shotgun yeah. on the other. So mm-hmm. I, I forgot. Well, we went to Guggen Week, wherever Flair lives. I don't even know. <laughs> Nebraska. Fuck, he lives in like Ohio, three different states, or I not think. Ohio, Missouri, yeah. whatever. And uh, I forgot about it. And he sat, he was in shorts and like both tattoos are showing. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> it's so. just that it, like you see some shit like that and it gives you flashbacks. Like, oh, f- I like, dang. You, like you guys said that, about the other two. T- I don't even think about the fact that this is on my arm. Yes. Bro. It's weird, bro. And what was funny was, is the guy that gave us the tattoos just hung around the, the whole rest of Google. Oh yeah. Week. He, he, we were ch- he was chilling. He's like, <laughs> so what's up? He, he yeah. actually messaged me not too long ago. Really? I don't remember what it was about. He's a nice guy, actually. Yeah, 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 but he did. He sent me a message, and I was like, "Is this the tattoo guy?" Yeah, I mean, he, Jacob he did Tats, two. I think he yeah. did two for me and did really well, honestly. So, and he was he was taking shots with us. Oh yeah, he was on par. <laughs> oh, but his his uh, his tattoos were fire. Yeah, no, they no, all turned really out fire. I mean, for <laughs> <laughs> under the circumstances, they were pretty good. Yeah. Um. Funny enough, actually, after that, you know, because I brought my. I brought my my whip, my car. Mm-hmm. Oh, to that. yeah! Mm-hmm. I drove it that night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a fun little whip. I think that was one of the nights where gravel was being thrown. Yes. Oh, I'm surprised there's any windows. John was. Yeah, uh, was I just paint is just <laughs> dicked. On I I, car. I heard this, <laughs> but then I heard ding 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 ding. ding. I'm like, and everybody, ah, ah, ah. dude, John is. If you guys know Guggen HQ, it's like this nice house, but it also has like this gravel road as well, it's most a parking lot. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right, dude. John is getting Ripping. after it and it's just what it's like dun, 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 dun. 
dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what's the the Tokyo Drift? Oh yeah, but yes. with rocks. On, yeah, yes. with rocks. Yeah, it was it was. Crazy. That was the first time I've really opened it up like that too. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. And you chose that area. He didn't choose. You talk to you talk to John when he's had a few of these. The That's Claw a different guy. Chose. Yo, like I I drink a decent amount. Yeah. And uh, certain times I'll get like super, super super drunk yeah. and i'll 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 be i'll get in like a bad mood every once in a while really every once in a while like every once in every, usually i'm like super happy mostly laughing. when views are down yeah like right now Wait, like right now he's pissed. we're getting an argument tonight. <laughs> 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 shit i forgot my all gloves. time low <laughs> um but i'll uh, let's just say like i get an argument with one of my buddies yeah just I'll take, I'll take that one. just uh just say and i'll be like Dude, we got an argument and whatever. I won't remember in the morning. And uh, my buddy would be like, yo, we did this, this. And uh, I'd be like, dude, you're just going to have to get me drunk and talk to that guy because I don't know what I said. I didn't, you know, like we're good. It's a good way to handle it though. Yeah. Um. So you guys brought that up. Uh, the So I brought that car there and I obviously was not going to drive it back. <laughs> uh, thankfully, Juan was sober and he volunteered his tribute to drive me home. <clears throat> you remember this? <clears throat> so... The literally the day before I was doing all that stupid shit, I got my car detailed. Super detailed. Super detailed. I remember. Like, I remember this. Yeah, I spent yeah. like four fifty on a nice yeah. detail. Travis has pictures of your car yeah, before absolutely. you did the donuts. Do you really? Do you have an after? <laughs> <What are, laughs> okay, should have got an after. <laughs> we should have got an after. But can you send me that before? Because it's never looked that good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like literally, it's actually got a problem right now. So oh boy. It's yeah. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I'm like, so I'm like, Juan, you gotta drive me home, bro. <laughs> and he's like, no problem, man. He's like, okay, John, okay, John, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> Juan is a f- uh, Sa- uh, Santiago saint. He's a saint. Saint. What is saint in Spanish? I don't know, bro. You throw a O. Sound. On. He's a he's he's an absolute saint. Anyway, yeah. the point I'm trying to make. <laughs> point I'm trying to make is he helped me that night and he drove me home. And I've got my. Pack. And you were like 45 minutes to an hour. Far, it yeah, far. We really far from the warehouse, and I had my I had my tattoo patch on there. <laughs> oh my god, and which like, was bloody. Yeah, was, oh yeah, yeah dude, like, your shit was I nasty. Filled in. Yeah, yeah. You gotta fill it in. Shit so was I got, bloody. I got like a blood sack on my arm. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, keep it on for a day. <laughs> I'm like, no chance. It's crazy how John didn't even know what fill it in meant at that moment. He was like, well, I'll okay, pick that time up. Time. Back no to the idea. back to the tattoos thing is, everybody was so confused why he was getting Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Flair looked over at me. He's like, "Why Ohio?" <laughs> this dude really loves the Midwest. Like, what's this shit? I was so confused, but anyways, oh man, I just got <laughs> chills. Yeah, I didn't give toe. any explanation. I was like, "Give me the state of Ohio on my arm." <laughs> really? Guys, like, really? And fill it in? It's gonna be like two hours, dude. <laughs> I don't know what fill it in I is. Got still. Time. Dude, I got the I think everybody dog. I left. still didn't even know. Yeah, no. I was like, <laughs> I was the only one there. I'm like, guys still like, taking shots. <laughs> dude, for real, man. Everybody that got a tattoo was getting poured Tito's in their mouth. Oh, my it's God, true. dude. It's water falling. <sighs> so I'm in the car with Juan. I'm like, I pass out. I'm really f- sizzled. I'm pickled beyond belief. I wake up. He's like, hey, man, we're here. I'm like, oh, thank you, Juan. I don't know how he got home. I think he crashed my place. <laughs> and uh, I woke up and I'm like, I'm like, I like touch my arm and I'm like, oh, f-. I look down. There's just a pool of blood in my f- <laughs> Lexus coupe. <laughs> like, bro, looked like I killed someone. I'm like, the <laughs> pouch bursted while I was sleeping on the ride home. Oh, no. And I'm like, fucking way. And I like sobered up real quick. I'm yeah. Like, Juan's like, oh, that's not good. I'm like, yeah. All right, and I just went in and passed out, and then like Oof. you know when you like do something stupid yeah, the night before, and you, you wake, wake up, up the, the next morning, morning, you're like you dumb. F-. So I woke up the next morning, and I like literally looked like someone got stabbed in there. Yeah. So I called the same guy that did my shit the day before, yeah, and I'm damn. like, hey, I need you to come back in detail. And he's like, why? Did I do something wrong? And I'm like, no, I. I it's so hard to explain to him. Yeah, you know, like there's blood in my car, <laughs> yeah. like a lot of it too, and like it looks like you ran away from like a shooting or something because also, of all like, the rocks. Yeah, the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's dents in my car. <laughs> it's covered in dust. Jeez. Um, he no question came next day, cleaned it up. I don't know how he did it because that blood yeah. just sat there. Oh, oh, that's damn. crazy. I but forgot about that. We got some memories, boy. All we right, lack memories. of memories, I suppose. Speaking of drinking and crazy times, crazy moments. I haven't been there yet, but I do foresee it in our future if we continue down this road. Oh, no. Camp hey. Claw. 
Lost Girls. I know you guys haven't been yet. So you said you said you want us to uh, come in June. Wait, wait, wait. Yes. I was down to week. Spear, and then you were like, "There's great whites." Um. Yes, there is. I looked it up. Because <laughs> I was gonna spear. Some yeah, dude. I really. You're. I. I feel like you'd be more tweaked in areas where it was like bull sharks and. No. Uh no. I can put white. a. I can put a spear in a bull shark's face and it'll run off. Uh, a great white. Great white. It's of swallowing a, it and then taking me. It's more of a breacher. I know? don't sketches me out a little more. I'll just put it this way. I. I. I think. I think you'd be okay. Either way, we are definitely making this happen. We got to come and make some content. I, I was going to ask, though, Camp Claw. Yeah. What, how did you give it its name? Uh, because of I was drinking. I, I guess this is awful now that I'm thinking about it. I would just be in every video have a white claw. Well, head. it was your thing. <laughs> it was your thing. Well, dude, these drink they, they are freaking like all these other seltzers that came out. I just do not like, I don't know yeah. why I, unless like, they want to sponsor us. Then they'd be like our favorite. Yeah. Shit, then but, they'd be the best thing. ever. Yeah. Absolutely. But nothing compares. Nothing compares. Anyways. So I it was just kind of like your stable at the time. The people, I and think the, viewer, the viewers named like Guggen. Yeah. The, the viewers named camp claw. Let's talk well. about yeah. Guggen memes. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Well, you remember how you called in? Uh, you called while we were actually on our first podcast yeah. for Banger Week, and yeah. I was like, hey, I'm going to have the Guggen Bundle kid yes. come in. And you were like, oh, that's a good idea. Da, 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 da. I've got another person I want to bring on. Guggen memes? Yeah. X-rated Guggen memes. X-rated Guggen memes. X-rated Guggen memes. Yeah. But we, we, had a, we had a theory. I think I know who it is. No f way. Hold on. Before we go any further. I think I know who it is. It, do, wait. Do you think it's an insider? No. No, 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 no. We so, were like, so, what if John comes on the podcast? So those, videos, he's like, those videos that you me. see? Like the, like the ones like per, me like me giving Peric wedgies. Yeah, yeah, we would send him those videos. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So like so it's not an insider. It's um. Well, don't say because we want to bring him on. Okay, and blur his face. I think I know who it is. He's from North Carolina. I'll just say. That. Okay, I'm pretty sure. So. But we're trying to get him on. I thought that would be funny. Well, he I know he that, that would me be back. awesome. <clears throat> he was like, "Are you guys like like a Zoom or a Facetime?" I said, "No, no, no. Oh, oh, we want to. Uh oh, 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 big girl, please stay down. Big girl, please stay down." Guys, uh, if you're heard that is just no, 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 that was already in there. I was oh, like, yeah, thank no. God. Jesus, like, God. no, I, 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 uh, we had a bass and I was feeding it some other fish, so oh, my gotcha. I was concerned. Yeah, no. Um, so you, uh, you, you have a theory about x ray to Google? I think I know who it is because I'm pretty sure, like, I do this thing where, like, I'll sometimes, like, I'll, I'll like DM the person who I think that runs the account and then I'll DM the account. And then see how quickly they res they both respond. Do you? But yeah. you don't think it's an insider? No. So it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a viewer. It's someone a who super watches. fan. No, I almost said super fan. It's probably not a super fan. It's someone who watches our shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We That's we funny. thought it was you. I'm not gonna lie. Oh really? We were yeah. like we were like oh no. I was I'm like flattered. man, it would be so funny if John no. has been running it this you whole know what's time. What's funny though is I actually just started an Instagram account. <laughs> well, and do you have the one of John where it was like? Come back to me whenever you turn 12. And they're oh like, Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That, Caleb sent him there. <laughs> that was. So now, you know what? Now funny. I've gotten my own suspicions. I think it might be, <laughs> it might be an inside job. Damn, it's. He's so for, for those of you that are listening, John catches this little bass yeah. and he releases it and he says, Hey, come back and talk to me whenever you turn 12 or whatever. Yeah, or it's like 12 pounds instead of 12 ounces. But I didn't say thing. pounds. I just said Yeah, 12. he said yeah. when you're 12. <laughs> and then it cuts to the... Uh, yeah, and Chris ahead. Hansen walks in. <laughs> and, uh, Go ahead and take a seat. Yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you have a seat? <laughs> uh, what was the Instagram you're... Oh, I just had this weird impulse the other day when I was drunk. It's, it's called <laughs> Fishing Sink Picks. Oh, I, 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 you posted that the other Wait, day. You're like, yeah. this is my new shit Wait. or whatever. <laughs> Wait, is this... Let me guess because I have no idea. Is this what people... People take pictures of fish that they're holding in, in the, their kitchen. Bro, it's no. 99% of fish brain. I'll just put it that way. It's, Wait, it's just like. It's, it's just fish in a sink. Fish sink? Like this guy's got like five <laughs> trout gilled in his Oh, finger. God. <laughs> that so so it would have been like Billy Bob on his kayak today yeah, where yeah, he's yeah. taking that 12 inch home <laughs> yeah. to make a it's on, fish it's, taco. Yeah, it's on his Instagram or his Facebook right now. Jeez. So like what I do is I'll find people who like mostly kill fish that are undersized or oversized <laughs> and then publicly post them in like their bathroom or their kitchen sink. There are a lot of things I thought we were going to talk about that in this is pod. Hilarious. I did yeah. not it's think fun. we were going to get into John's new uh, Instagram <laughs> handle. But he posted it and, and, and pumped it so well myself. that I, I thought it was just a random account. I almost followed it. <laughs> 
damn. I was like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> so what is it? What is it called? The actual fishing sink pick. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it kind of sounds like fishing dick pick. Oh, fishing <laughs> sink pick. I love that. And then like the hashtag is like send sink picks. You know, like that's dick, funny. You know? I love funny. that. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, I have 100 Look. followers. I'm about to blow up next week. <laughs> <laughs> Bud, Light, Bud Light, Chevy, any of you guys watching right now. I'm just if anybody fun. thought John B's conversion was <laughs> hot shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, there. it's garbage, bro. <laughs> I told my buddy, I'm like, I only got a hundred. Well, I think, I think, I think it's because I think if you were to say you the one posting it, I know I was trying to be discreet. I yeah. guarantee you, after this podcast, you're gonna have about seven new followers on that motherfucker. Two is gonna be me. And <laughs> I also don't know if there's really much of a market for people who want to look at dead fish to sink. <laughs> no, I will tell you, I right now on Instagram, I'm getting f- on Instagram from every angle right it's now. So weird, bro. I, I, let me tell you. Let me tell. You, I got the inside scoop, John B. Give me all your info right now. You, you need to be quiet. No, I'm gonna tell. <laughs> you see a gun? <laughs> <laughs> TikTok coming from the <laughs> wall. You just hear dude. Him. Let me tell you something. Right now, there are. Hat. brand deal bags going on for reels did you know that they're pushing reels so hard they're pushing. everybody everybody's trying I to be like the promotion they're doing for like 1200 bucks no 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 that's what instagram tells you they're like hey if you want to post we'll give you up to 12 no there's f-ing bags coming out monthly for creators yeah, specifically y'all had the bags. inside scoop on facebook like, they, they, let, let me tell you something john i have sold my f-ing soul and equity of my <laughs> life into a f-ing manager who does an amazing job at that's scooping all that matters. the inside if he, if he does scoop. his job and that's all that matters she? yeah it's a she but <laughs> <laughs> she probably doesn't listen to this podcast but no. she does own a percentage of she's it she's definitely I think. she's not this deep as she might have listened to the first half yeah. she's like i stopped at fishing <laughs> she just hates my guts now <laughs> no but excuse uh, me excuse me no so i i do believe when it comes to youtube views and stuff like that i truly do believe that tiktok has f-ed up YouTube when you only have a, every everywhere when, when you're ta- when you're just taking a quick shit, okay? Or I used to pull up YouTube ten I, out of ten times. Here, I'll answer this question for you. I had to delete it. You deleted YouTube? No, no, TikTok. Oh, yeah. you had to. Yeah, it's too bad. It was yeah. too much. Right. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm talking like you, when you say you get on your phone, and you're hungover. Yeah. Uh, my thing was TikTok. Yeah, right. Dude, four, and, four and, hours, and it's it, a lot of yes, people bro. And had to get rid of you. It. Get the the. Hey, you've been watching this for too long. Maybe you should go to sleep. Shut up, bitch. I'm yeah. <laughs> no, that's what, like, it, they have something going on, a chemical that re- is released out of your phone <laughs> that, bro, yeah, hours scary. go by. Yeah, it's so frightening. It, it relates to YouTube views. I promise it does because TikTok is doing it. It's taking people's time away from the YouTube well, app. The shorts. YouTube, YouTube is pushing shorts so hard. Instagram Reels is throwing down bags when's the last time you heard a creator getting paid mega bags to just be on the platform yeah, i'm so confused you gotta elaborate here so who's paying the bag who's instagram providing the bag? brother instagram let me is. tell you i can't get into like numbers but instagram have to. is literally throwing money at creators with a little bit of following or whatever people that convert a hundred followers onto their other instagram platform stuff like that i don't think you understood i was just throwing shots but <laughs> that's fine He's talking about your sink picks, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. They're they're <laughs> basically I'll show you. They're they're paying people to post original content on Instagram Reels. Instagram themselves. When you can And you a, can't it can't even you can't post it to dude, we probably can't put this in here. What no. It's it's perfectly fine. You can't post it. It's it can only be on Reels for 30 days. No, it, it can only be on Reels on it has to be on Reels for at least 30 days before you post it anywhere else. That's, yeah, How that's does that right. work? Let yeah. me explain. Instagram no needs to compete. So they're going to take uh. people like potentially Trish and I. <laughs> Maybe JoJo Bars 33. <laughs> Which sucks, though. It's like... I, I will say Instagram's Reels pretty good. Pretty fine. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but what what sucks is it's Instagram used to be where you posted pictures and you see pictures. Nowadays, you scroll. Me and Brandon were talking I, about this earlier. I did a test. 36 videos on my feed before I got to my first picture. It was Adam Greentree. He has 409,000 followers. In 15 hours, he had 200 likes on his picture. He was the first picture I saw. I scrolled one video, two videos, three videos. Do you think that Facebook is 
blue balling pictures. Yeah. They're they're saying don't like they're almost like Did you just say Facebook? You mean well, Meta- Metaverse? Metaverse, yeah. <laughs> Instagram. Me. Instagram's blue like they're basically Yeah. Oh, wow. bro. Have you noticed your sweeping under the rug like picture? Oh nice, cool. Your, yeah. Have you noticed down. your likes at all? Like change? Kind of I, I'd actually, I look at that. I, I actually go back. So like, I'll go back to like before reels were a thing or before TikTok. Yeah. And I, it's up and down. Yeah. Right. That's what keeps me kind of like not. And every it. once in a while, they'll let a picture go. Keeps the yeah. uh, depression from <laughs> setting So like the other completely. day, I posted a picture of like me uh, with like, I did this as kind of a test, uh, like with the half shaved mustache. I'm like, usually the stupid the, shit. The funny yeah. picture. Yeah. yeah and it got, and it got likes and I'm like, huh. Okay. And then I posted a fish and it like nothing. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. So I don't, that's, that's where I'm confused. There's a yeah. level of inconsistency there that just, it's really weird. My Algorithms yeah. weird. Yeah. There's a, I don't think we've ever reached anything like this in the social media world no. where the actual social platforms are paying creators to change their content well, because they need to. They Otherwise to. they're going to, they're going to be, you know, what's going to be incredible out. is when, you YouTube is clear. I wouldn't say in trouble because they're huge. Or everything could just stay in their own lane. You know who did that the best? What? Twitter. I know they're losing right now. But if you have the Twitter, you have the Instagram, which is mainly pictures. You have the TikTok, which is the quick v- viewed videos, just like Vine was. Then you have YouTube for your long term stuff. I felt everybody is going to be able to succeed rather than trying to, to succeed in this one lane no i mean i agree it's, it's almost as if like you've got cable tv right and like what gets the most views is like let's say i don't know like let's say espn gets the most right. views and then you've got all these other networks like well we can start showing sports. why is cartoon network playing sports yeah and then yeah like all the other networks start playing here's you know. the problem though you're gonna get on the tv and you're gonna watch different shit different people are gonna watch different shit the problem is Something like TikTok was so conducive to your time that you had to delete it. Other people are trying to catch up. That's they need you to be on their platform. Well, honestly, I would, I will say this. I would probably delete Instagram and YouTube if I didn't have right. a bit of a foundation there too. I, I honestly would. The, yeah. the problem with TikTok is I think it's the format. It's the way that it does such an incredible job of suggesting like it it i don't it goes beyond it's, algorithm. it's the, the vibe of it the, the app is reading your mind yeah i don't even it's not algorithm it's something beyond that yeah seriously it's crazy and i i the problem i had with it is it was just so easy to keep going whereas youtube videos you got to kind of like click something scroll down or then you you right got to search it for what you want mm-hmm. right it makes it harder so yeah youtube's like mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but I, but I, get, but I get. <laughs> we see you, we see you, John B. I like, it. I like Su- it. Susan Wojak, Su- or yeah, Wodecky, Wodecky. Yeah. She's awesome. She can go yeah. f- my YouTube videos. I don't know. I think she, f- you, bro. She's yeah, like, I mean, dude, you're pulling good views right now. Do I? Think she? F- me. I think she f- Honestly, I think she'd be f- with you. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> hey Susan, you, you got, got a Millie. Pick. You got a Milly, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, views aren't showing it though. Shit. Hey, bro, bro. Let's not talk about conversions. Okay. Let's not. Yeah, we don't want to go down that route. You know, I'm about to celebrate 3 million subscribers, but I'm still praying for 100,000 views per video. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it. It's, it, it didn't used to be like that uh, 10 months ago. I don't think this is a healthy mindset, but I will say this. Look at a lot of other people. No. Yeah. I, let me, uh, I want to throw this out there. I think this is a great segue. I did not necessarily want to go down this route, but... Dude, I'm, I am f-ing scared all the time because of where I've landed somehow. Like, I feel like uh, Tristan, myself, and Jake, we have grinded to create YouTube videos. And, like, it's given us everything we have. But sometimes you kind of feel like you see, like, the walls closing in a little mm. bit. And I want to ask you specifically because I feel like you have, like... Guggen as a whole is such an outlier of a successful company and creator outside of YouTube. So a lot of people, when they get into YouTube, they're like, I want to hit a million view- or a million subscribers. I want to do this. I want to da 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 But what they don't realize, and, and I am definitely in that category, Tristan's in that category, is like you gave your whole life and 
every opportunity to focus on this one thing to grow, grow, grow. And then like, sure, money comes. What you do with that money, like that's up to you. Like luckily, most of us are pretty smart about it. But when you reach a certain point, you realize like. Like you were saying, you hit kind of hit a rut. This YouTube <clears throat> yeah. shit. I can't do this for another Forever. 30 years. I can't do this for 20 more. I, like, It's not a retirement plan. It isn't. No. And it's f scary, bro, because like now everything I have relies on YouTube or other social media platforms or other things that are pushed by YouTube like merch or brand deals or da 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 But ultimately, what is the scapegoat or what is the way out is people building real businesses on the back of YouTube you that are you that are in Walmart time. that are in Dick's well, that are in Academy Guggen, just like you guys Guggen did. is a because me and Anaya had Anaya is my girlfriend we had a huge talk about this the other night she was like do you think like you have the like ability to kind of transition the way um Flair did and the way like Guggen did you know because Flair has multiple different things he mm -hmm. was think doing and stuff like that and I was like I do but I sometimes feel like we may have lost our moment. Like we may have like, we may have been too late trying to be good friends. Like for, for instance, when we were the water dragons, Kendrick would always say like, yo, you boys want to be a part of Guggen, da, 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 da. And we'd be like, where's the contract Kendrick? But at the end of the day, we talked about it and we we're like, yo, like I, and we talked to Kendrick about it too. We legitimately thought that we could be right beside Guggen and grow together, but be the underwater version of Guggen, if that makes sense. Yeah. But me, Jake, and Tristan, because we're a trifecta, mm -hmm. that obviously didn't work out so well. We're still great <clears throat> friends with Jake. We still love Jake to death. But at the end of the day, like, I am still sitting in the banger barn wondering, what the f*** do I do yeah. when, when this shit closes in? No, that's a, that's like, that's a real, that's a real big question. It's scary bro and, and honestly it's so funny you bring this up because this is something you know full transparency like you using that whole walls closing in on you yeah compares like that analogy it, it's something i feel all the time but it no, really is you but i don't want to be disrespectful because everybody has their thing how like how do you specifically feel that because is, this wall over here bro as much as like as cool as that is like Bro, I look I at that about, sometimes. I, know, I feel like I know what you're about to say. It, it, like, it's, it goes beyond like, I'm, so the thing is, I'm, like, I'm, 20, I'm 26 years old. Yeah. And the way that I am starting to kind of view my prior YouTube success and, we're, and I'm still doing it and it's something that I'm like very passionate about and I think that's another element of it too. Right. Is it's like, aside from, like this is a weird thing that I've always had, I've always, this is a principle I've always tried to uphold is it's like, you know, when the, maybe a year ago or whatever, like YouTube AdSense was kind of on the, it was on the downward spiral yeah. after COVID. Like people, everybody kinda, felt that hit. Right. My thing was like, I don't care about that. I just want people to tune in. Right. I don't, you know, I would rather You want to keep creating content for the people. Yeah. If I'm getting 500,000 views and making 50 bucks on You're that. You're jacked. I don't care. I got people watching it. That right. means that I've got, I've got the attention and, and the support of people, 500,000 people. Like that's like when you get even like, like a, like a hundred people to view your video. Like people don't understand what that means to put a hundred people in a room. Take a look at that in a Huge. physical form. It's Huge. insane. Yep. It's absolutely ridiculous. So my thing is it's like, you know, being a part of Guggen has brought a lot of financial stability and it's something that I am forever grateful for, but it also means that I've got now a lot to lose. Right. financially and also just like i don't want to fade out i don't want to fizzle out I, right i've seen a lot of content creators do that and they I, like hit this big moment and then they're just like gone yeah and and, and honestly my <clears throat> my my initial reaction to that is like oh you know they messed up or they did this and i'm like shit i could do that i can yeah. mess up real quick i can very easily become not that at relevancy but like is a concern of mine i don't care about that but i also just want to continue this journey you know yeah. like you said you don't want to do this for 20 years but i i I don't know if I want to do it for 20 years either, but I also want to just be in that creative space and it's all I know how to do. Right. The thing is, I like you were saying, it's you dropped everything, right? Gave it up. You guys both were like, F I'm going to put 120, 150% into this, you know, and that came with a lot of sacrifices. So then all of a sudden now you have to switch gears. Yeah. How do you do that? Right. Yeah. What, what do you do? Become uh, uh, like 
Yeah, I don't know. How do I get a, a different type of like? Like, what kind of job? What kind what, of field what, am I going what into? Do you, how do you make you know? a resume? In, in, in two, in two, <laughs> yeah. What is a resume? Yeah, yeah. dude, I I filmed the shitty pond video a couple <laughs> weeks ago. Is that good enough? Can you listen? When uh, do I start? Uh, but, I know how to edit a video. But to that point, though, like talk about someone who's done it very well is Flair. Yeah, Flair for the longest time was posting, you know, mostly fishing videos, some waterfall videos, hunting videos, and like. I think myself and a few other people watched kind of like he just kind of it maybe he evolved. Were, yeah. Well, he kind of he kind of was sitting there in oh, the wash for the. Bit. I understand. Yes. Right? He was like yes. maybe not really climbing as much. Yeah. And then something and I would love to ask him this question. I never have like what may like maybe was it what upload was it? What video or what idea right. was it that it's maybe a got question. a little bit more views than what he'd been posting part of that being fishing content. Right. So he maybe posted like something where he bought an animal or he moved to his new place and he has a bunch of land. He switched gears completely. And well, then, he said, uh, this, this is when he, when he came on our podcast, he was like, what, before I started the whole homesteading thing, he's like, when you see something on YouTube that is getting I, a, yes. a certain amount of views every single time. He kind of saw the market. He played yeah. the market. Yeah, he, he saw the market moving. Or, yep. you know, but, that's what I'm saying. Someone but there definitely had to be a video, right? That was like, oh, shit. But that's easier that said good. than done, though, right? right. I mean, that's, this, you're talking about someone who was for the most part, a strictly like fishing channel yeah. to then now kind of like a, you know, personality on the ranch type deal right. to now maybe making that switch to construction. Yeah. Right. I don't know if I can do that. Right. I don't know if I could switch fishing to like, and you know, there's only so many, I think, and I don't want to sound pessimistic. But there's only so many branches you can go from like fishy. You know what I'm saying? Right. And maybe in, y- in y'all's genre too, it's like, <clears throat> Yeah. How do you, well, this or, is, or do you even need to do that? Should we just, should you just stick to what you're doing? And that's going back to the beginning of this podcast. That's one of the reasons why I was doing the series. Like, I don't feel like there's that many people doing series. Right. Right. It's not necessarily like. It's refreshing. It is. Well, I this guess. is what I ha- I think is. So you have these people, right? So fishing became a thing. Dude, you could go super mega viral having a reel in your hand and the bait that you use right? yeah, or 100%. a big ass bass or one of my big viral videos one of my first big viral videos on youtube was a cooler with bass in it yep mega viral so what we're talking about is like how what avenue could you potentially go down if you were to do something else on youtube yeah whereas like in the treasure world jake is kind of the top as far as the treasure people if he were to be consistent i would say he's definitely the top yeah i mean I he's the top in pretty much either. pretty much all categories yeah. but if he were to post consistently he would be getting the mega views that he he's figuring he's, it out though. right yeah he's yeah. getting in there but so what i'm saying is like dude you post consistently you're at the top of the fishing world like it, like we said before it's like we would watch you if we wanted to make a fishing video like we would make it like you did. Obviously, nowhere near as good. But like, for blueprints. instance, yeah, there blueprints. was a blueprint, right? Like, let's make a video like John B. did. We used to do the funny clips at the end because you did that. What? Oh, this parlays into exactly what I wanted to get into. We used to make videos and a funny part that we didn't put in the video, we'd put at the end of the video because we saw you. Kind of like a do blooper. That? You used to do that back in the day. Really? You would put like just a funny ass clip of something. Super like OG. A, like yeah. some uncut. Like, yeah. yeah. Just real quick. But what I'm saying is like, I feel like it, right now where you're at with the series and stuff like that, and you said like the videos from the old times doing well, I think you're at the top of the fishing game and you never left. And that's what you're going to be able to keep pushing it because well, there's always going to be a need for an, the fishing. An OG will also always be an OG right. too. Like there's that yeah, like... But, I, but I've seen some like... So I mean, I've been on but it But for- it's different. I understand. I know exactly where you're going. We could say names right now. Yeah. Let, bleep this out. Yeah, that's the gone. first one that comes. I mean... Gone. Yeah. He's gone. Like He's still around. Below but it's irrelevant. Like, it's like, it's kind of sad. And is. like, honestly, again, walls closing in, I feel like, I'm like, oh my God, I'm next. I'm next. Well, it's scary when you see your peers go through it and the people that you watched and you enjoyed their shit. Like, I'm going to have a panic attack as soon as I No, <laughs> no, f*** all y'all. F*** all y'all. I lost me, everything. Me and Tristan are I lost my whole oh, channel. Yeah. So f*** oh, off. Yeah, you can come true. back. Yeah. Which I haven't, but. <laughs> yeah, we don't speak about Yappy Chuan Chuan. It's uh, only Yappy now. Yeah, yeah, I probably should have went Tuan Tuan again to get all those people back. <laughs> I have your uh, contact in my phone is Yappy Vietnam. 
<laughs> what? I don't know. I was like <laughs> stupid or drunk or something like that. Oh my god! That's funny. My like grandfather's quantum. from the Philippines. It's pretty close. Yeah, really. Vietnam. Yeah, no way. That's yeah. funny. I um, want to know how that. But what were you saying? You were saying that part. Yeah. So I we were talking about you know people mimicking stuff and whatever. It parlayed into what I was going to ask. This is a little bit deeper. Okay. I think everybody in this room's a creator. Have you ever really digested the impact that you've had on people? Truly. I think it messed with me too much. I don't think you comprehend yeah. it. Truly. I think it's one of those. I, uh, I listen to every episode of Fishing After Dark, Lojo AO, yeah. the boys. They did a, uh, like the top 10, like fishing YouTubers. And their answer, you were number one. Wow. For like influence. Dude, I can't tell you how many people I meet or how many times this has been said to me. I'm one of those people, by the way. John B. got me into making YouTube videos. John B.'s style of editing. Really? Dude, I swear to God, there's no way you don't know that, though. No, I don't. It, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm lot. not being humble. I genuinely don't, because the thing is, is if like, like when people <clears throat> approach me in like in public or like if I, someone's like, hey, like it. I'm, I'm like socially awkward about it. But see, yeah. that's different. It, that's like, the, we watch your videos. Yeah, yeah, but like, I don't think of it as like, I'm like, okay, cool. But then like, I don't realize it. like, then it happens again the next day. And I'm like, I just don't, I don't really take all that information and, and really process what that means. Yeah. Like, you know, where I'm like, at a, like, I'll be, I pissed at a stall once and the guy next to me was like, oh, you're John B. I'm like, <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's crazy. I'm yeah. like, what? What, what? 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 I feel like what you're trying to say is like what the guy said that bought the ten thousand dollar box, the, the fifteen minutes of freedom. That dude, this was beautiful. I wanted to talk about this on a podcast. I didn't know where, bro. This, this went hard. The way this kid laid this out, I I wanted to have him on the podcast so bad. We're talking about Derek. He bought the ten thousand dollar mystery yeah. bundle. He sent me something today. I haven't looked at it yet, but he was like. Phase one came through or something. Probably a big ass order of Guggen stuff, right? It's a lock of Rob's hair. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so I guess what we don't realize as creators is what you do for people sometimes. So he said this to me when we were out on the water together. He was on my kayak. I was on a pool toy <laughs> fishing. <laughs> but we were talking a little bit more and um, his dog is actually named Guggen. Which I was like, wow. if anybody was to buy that bundle, it's that f kid. Jesus. Good thing he bought it. But we forgot to talk about that on the pod. What he was like, man, what I wish I would have said is like how much like people's like mental health relies on y'all's videos. And I never think about it that way. I don't, I don't really suffer with any mental health problems but sometimes i get like stressed out or like anxious about like what yeah. am i doing which my is future? a degree of some sort of mental turmoil but i also think it's just like you know like you got to think about your future and if you're not like yeah. you're going to end up in a probably mental health yeah, problem yeah don't if you're not thinking about your future <laughs> or if you're thinking about it way too hard right okay maybe that maybe yeah. that's where yeah. i lie it's a, it's a healthy metal for Dude, sure. what this kid said he's like i just don't think you guys understand like when I get on my computer and I watch that video, bro, you don't understand. That's 15 minutes of freedom. And I hmm. was like, oof. Like the way he freedom like. Freedom from like his everyday just freedom, life. freedom, bro. Just like that's where he wants to be. That's like whatever his version of freedom is. We didn't get into that. But he clearly stated sure. like that. He was like, you don't understand what you do for people's mental health, bro. It's 15 minutes of freedom. Like you give me that every time you upload. And I was like. Damn. So it's like, we never think about that as creators. No. But again, to parlay on, on this, I think, bro, you've had a giant impact on the YouTube fishing <clears throat> culture. And you don't think about that, like, ever? Because I know if somebody said, like, yo, Brandon, like, you've had a huge impact on underwater. Yeah, I, was say, can't you, can't you? I wouldn't I wouldn't take it seriously either. Yeah, but, but the thing is, is y'all started doing this so early on. It could be the same. I mean... Fishing YouTube started at one point, but then... No, this is how diving works, right? Diving world... It's pretty sad. It's... They replicate our videos, 
I mean, we I've I've done the same thing. Are oh, you talking about current YouTube? Current. I thought you were gonna say the col- the culture of diving is like yeah. The culture older, of diving is older sad. Dudes with but money. I'm saying like the the <laughs> new people that are doing the diving videos, just like us, same title, same thumbnail, same everything. Yeah. Is they never give any shit. They never say, man, I, I watched this. I watched the huh. Almighty. I watched Jig Jordan. I watched Yappy. But it's never expected. Also, like. I don't which, but the thing is, is like, for instance, which it, but it's, it is it's a different. little bit frustrating. It's like flair. Like I'm kind of doing, a, I'm sprinkling in a little bit of stuff just because my buddy bought a farm. And you shout and you shout it out. I shout out BK. every single time. Yeah. Like the, I got this video from Flair. My thumbnail and my title, it's from Flair. And that only helps both parties, right? Too. So all I'm saying is, is like in the diving world, there is no love. That's weird. Yeah. So there's no. So what you're telling me is in that genre. There's no camaraderie. No. Not yet. I do think. Well, that, that's uh, honestly that that's a point though because this is the, right here. What we're doing is yeah. a, is a collide yeah. uh, uh, of two different styles of not only filming and content but substance of content. Yeah, right. You know, like that's that's crazy. Yeah, like, the, the fact that you're not here inviting some other guy who also looks and and hunts for treasure and and dives. Yeah, we actually haven't had any no, treasure no. hunter. They're no. all just pricks, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just pretty much. That Jake guy. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> Jake's actually going to be on later this month. Yeah. I think it, as long as he cool. keeps his word, he'll. I be need on. to apologize to him for being such a <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I hung out, and his family had me in his. I was just being so <laughs> weird. Dude. What a. Uh, it's actually a time I look back and I'm like, dude, what is wrong with can you? Can you express this a little bit more? I don't I, know. I think I think the whole scenario was like, it's funny because I am. It, Jake is very much of an extrovert. To me, he was. I don't know if in, from because you guys have spent way more time. He, but I think he. I, I think he's like riding a thin line. He can definitely he's be. He's definitely both. He can definitely be. If maybe, he were, yeah, I think he can definitely. Maybe be in that both. point in time of his in his life, he, he was. He, yeah, he was very, very like an, an extrovert, and and I don't think I was ready for that. <laughs> okay. uh, I don't know. I, I well, I never also to just hung around another YouTuber outside the fish. So this space. was just like, was it? Because he started off with gaming and then he was making that kind of he slow made a transition, transition. Yep. into diving and, and, and treasure hunting. He was doing fishing hard though. He was. He was also doing fishing. Yeah. yeah. With Lucky Taco Box. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. shit. Where'd those guys go? GTB. <laughs> hey, you um, know they never f- pay me, bro. No, you know what they're doing now is that they're actually they're doing Monster Bass and Monster Bass is just, just as f- Yeah. Whatever, sue me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, anyway, the, the thing is, is the, the whole situation <laughs> of that though is I think I was just like I had a bunch of videos I was editing at the time, and I felt like maybe I was in a maybe a bit of a rut. I don't know. And mm-hmm. I was like trying to figure shit out, and he's like, there was like specific times like, hey, do you want to go grab lunch? And be like, no, I'm good. I'm editing a video. It wasn't anything that. Yeah, it wasn't anything against Jake. It was no, it literally yeah. wasn't. I was just like, Fuck, I don't know if I want to be here right now. You know uh, what he told me. <laughs> Oh, please do. Honestly, this, I'm so curious. This is f- great. No, uh, well, I remember. <laughs> well, hold on. First of all, you talked about busting your ass. Dude, once, twice, three times a year, we always get caught. We're like, when is it going to happen? We're oh, about slipping to, on the rocks down dude, by the Those river. rocks are. F- Bro, it yeah. looked like I pleasured some guy on a f- <laughs> rocky beach. My knees were just bare. You could see the f- bone. It was disgusting. And he's like, Dude, he's nimble. Yeah. The dude is super nimble. And he's just like... <laughs> Unexpectedly nimble. Yeah, yeah bro. He he's gets like a f- cricket. <laughs> <laughs> bro can <laughs> surf and all kinds of shit. Yeah. I'm like a... F- Damn. I'm like... I'm, dude, I'm like a f- roly poly going down these rocks. I'm oh, like... God. He's like, just a little bit farther. <laughs> and I'm like, dude... <clears throat> <clears throat> my rod's falling and Damn. shit. So he... Uh, I don't think... Anyway, that's some. Uh, but sorry, I gotta add context there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, I went and fished with Jake, and Jake was trying to take me to the spot. And this spot was like, it was like beyond a it's, football field size of mossy, wet gnarly. rocks. Yeah, and gnarly, he's yeah. scaling these rocks like a pro, and <laughs> I've got feet coordination like an idiot, and I was literally destroying my body. Yeah, yeah. I kept falling, and he's like, "I oh, just keep going." I'm like, "Shit!" <laughs> but, Dude, that's <laughs> it's honestly so crazy. Uh, to think about all this stuff. He he tells me this all the time. And we make jokes about it. I don't think you ever saw it. Which is the funniest part. He was like sitting on this bridge that goes over to like the main island where the main wave is. T, you know what I'm talking about. You yeah. probably have no idea. No. He was sitting on this. And it's probably like seven or eight foot 
up <laughs> and like went to turn to like hop off but f- fell onto his hip and he was like bro it was the worst <laughs> oh. pain he now mind you this kid just went through surgery broke his f- shoulder recently yeah. all the shit yeah. right like last year that happened he was like it was worse pay with that <laughs> than that and john like didn't know yeah. and he was like ah, ah. <laughs> we make jokes about this, this all the time this, like this thing is high <laughs> <laughs> Up there, so we, every time we see it, we get on it. He's like, "Yeah, you remember that one time when I fell with John B?" <laughs> I don't know. It's just, uh, it's noteworthy, I suppose, yeah. for the podcast. But yeah, we bring it up a lot. Where he <laughs> busted his shit, and he was like trying to play I cool feel like, for you. you. Know, I feel like I feel like um, he's put me to the test. <laughs> he's like, let's see how he does that how, to everyone. See how far I can push this. Yeah, oh, this for idiot. sure. He, he he about turned me into. Rocket man, I was on those same rocks you were on, but with a goddamn scuba tank on my back, and I fell to my ass onto my scuba tank, How? and I thought I was about to turn How? into Rocket Man, bro. Oh my god, man, yeah, bro. yeah. I think even before no. uh, before we got to the rocks, too, we we swam through like <laughs> reeds and ticks <laughs> and just yeah. scare beetles. That sounds about right. No, man. dude, I feel like <laughs> pulling still, lightning bugs out of my he ass. He still pushes. He pushes you to that limit and then gets you keep to keep going. <laughs> it's like what's, what's awesome though is like like I it's I will never forget it. Yeah, yeah. That's what's but it'll be cool like, hey, it. we could go and find this here, and it's like, oh, we didn't find that you know there, but it, it could be around the corner you know over here. <laughs> <laughs> this this kid Wild Goose is so special with his optimism. Yeah, it, that's like, beautiful. It pisses me off. He sees the good. <laughs> he sees the good. And, Stop being so happy, dude. Yeah. No, it's it's yeah. just like his like. Today, guys, before we dive, we're going to find a gun. I'm telling you, we're going to find a gun. Every time he tells us or that, we'll we leave, never we'll leave a spot. It. We'll leave a spot, and he'll be like, hey, Tristan, Tristan, what? Out of the whole weekend, out of the whole trip, what was your favorite moment of the trip? Tell me what your, tell me what your favorite moment of the trip was. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. Actually, well, now that we think about it, like, Dude, this part of it was like really fun. And so it, so it kind of makes you capture that. Like you wanna- when you're a YouTuber, you get in that moment of like film, edit, uh, f- thumbnails, and yeah. you take that moment and just like, wow, okay. You, you know, he uh, decided mentally to fire a camera guy because he asked what his favorite part of the trip was. And he said, getting paid. And like, right which this guy was a dick. Right, I mean, I might right have there, been a little. Right there, though, he knew that he was like, oh, this is it. This is it. This is done. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mature Stumful. decision. I mean, I don't. Isn't that crazy? I've been a little thrown back to him. Like, wow. Yeah. Right. Well, how about the next trip that we don't take because you're fired? Yeah. What's your favorite part about that one? It's pretty much what happened. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's a special kid, it's man. Weird, man. It's special. I, well, I can't wait to have him. I think too. one word to describe Jake is he's authentic. Yeah. Super true. And you guys probably know him better than I, but I just yeah. hung out with him once, and yeah, yeah he he uh, lays it all on the table. Yeah, love the kid. We got, his, I can't his, wait to have him on. His family is awesome too. Shout out to yeah, you. his family is actually. Yeah, his yeah, sister was chill. nice. It was pretty it was, cool. It was a good trip. I was just being a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Hey, uh, I think I remember the intro to that video. Where it was like, look at my black dong or some shit. You had a rod, no, yeah, a rod like, holder, no, no, a black like, penis. <laughs> I'm like, bro, he used to be so raw back then. He would catch a fish and be like, see you later, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Literally on camera, he'd be like, look at this fat bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Toss it into the. <laughs> I might, I might bite on that a little. I might, I might Dude, that. you know yeah. what's so funny is like yeah. we, uh, his gaming. Some of his gaming videos are still up. Oh, they're f- with wild, troll bro. kids. Dude, so f- got it from. funny, yeah. bro. So funny. He he would. I, I don't know if this is Omega or what, but he bought a T-shirt that had a. Did it had a schlong just a schlong? His it mother bought on. it for him. Yeah, his mother <laughs> bought had a it schlong, for him. and it was something like Omega or whatever, where you, you just you he, press and it'll go to the next person. And he's, he's just sitting back like. He would get like people's this. reactions, bro. <laughs> and he's just like, and they're like, oh my he's like, God. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> so it's like shit like that. The kid is just. It's amazing, bro. Yeah, but it's amazing. But damn it, man. Well, Dude. What were we saying before this? <sighs> We've been on so many tangents. <laughs> I don't even know where we were trying to this go. This is beautiful. Can well, I get another one? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. How to run. Damn, bro. There's a, there was this um, one of my my friends who I've really not done a good job of communicating with uh, since last I hung out with him. He's an Australian bloke. His name's uh, oh god, GT, GT Buster, and he oh dude, sick, well, dude. When you went on that Australian series, that was I feel like everybody in the United States was like, oh, I just want to go to Australia. 
that was f- it's like looking back at that shit it's insane because we literally had zero idea what we were doing and we pulled up to uh the airport and rented a car and yeah. drove on the wrong side of the road for 1700 <laughs> miles <laughs> and it worked out <laughs> you drove <laughs> god also too like kangaroos yeah you go into it saying like i want to see a kangaroo those fuckers sit in the road like they that's where they move. live man yeah. yeah they won't move or they'll jump in front of the car um but this aussie bloke he like when whenever he wants another one he'll just go <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even say anything. Just, <laughs> have just you adopted that you can do it for the rest of this pod if you want just go like this yeah just tap I, me I on just the shoulder think he's like, can't even waste his breath <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. he's awesome ben Goodness, man that's ben, hard. if you're watching this, shout out to your brother. Ben but, yeah. is, uh, sorry, Ben's not watching. <laughs> ben is definitely not watching. This. Maybe you could send it to him. It might help us out, but let me tell you right now. Uh, go to an hour, ben, minutes, and 41 seconds. He ben might. is not, give a f*** on this podcast. No, he might. He's on YouTube. He's, he's, he's heavy in the content. I, mean, yeah. I don't know, probably. Probably not. Does he follow the fish sink pics or... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think he's a part of the 53 people. That <laughs> I think, uh, damn, if you don't count my mom and my dad, it's 51. So dude, kidding. I've got a question for you. This, yeah. this might be a little hard to answer. Speaking of me, mom, hold on. Me. Speaking of mom and dad, I remember John B's catching cooks at the old house with mom and dad and they would taste review oh, it. Honestly, <laughs> that's stupid. Video. Honestly, I still remember like John B's parents, like packing his merch bracelets where he was like, yo, my mom worked yeah. on all these. Like that was, that's yeah, sick. Dude. You were talking about uh, when Yons Guggen go. comes out with reels. Dude, I got, this is. I was about to steal it from this, you, but this I. This is for the culture right now, John. <laughs> we're, somebody's going to clip this. One of our 300 viewers, they will clip this shit right here. You guys, put me right, please. Jesus Christ. Back in the day, fish in the Midwest. John B. Rowling. Y'all are, how are you? Y'all I'm actually watch you. this shit. No, John. No, that's that's John, crazy. I, John. Yeah. Fish in the me- Midwest back in the day. Yeah, that's still my Gmail, by the way. He would give you... Mind you, I, what if I just watched all these... Vi- I just went real he far back. Binging. For he this whole week, I've been trying to get some content oh, man, for we us. really love... Dude, <laughs> that one video you posted, that was... Uh, hang on, let me Swear. turn the page. The, the Kato? <laughs> where you, uh, and he said it multiple checks, times. You, no. went, you went out of power at the Kato, right? I remember that. Right? Right? You did? Okay, go. Oh, it was raining, right? <laughs> right? Super misty. Catfish, catfish. <laughs> you, your camera was broke, right? <laughs> yeah. I watched that whole video, you <laughs> Oh, is that a teleprompter? What the <laughs> Back in the day, fishing the Midwest, he would give us the scoop on what f-ing reels to buy, Dude, what oh, to stay wow. away from, which. F-ing I'll still be bi- I'll still be completely unbiased to this day. All right. Well, let me ask you this. Absolutely. There's what? a there's a f-ing rumor going I around. I put you right on now. a reel. Remember that? You did. Yeah, it's right I, over there. Yeah, I it? I caught that bitch on it. Did you really? <laughs> I did. I used that monster drive. Like, Dude, that was one of the first time, there, bro. Dude, okay. That thing's like a Toyota. F- yeah, so listen, bro, yeah. that we still talk about this when we went and fished that lake in Texas and I slammed the, f- in <laughs> the big ass I frog thought about that video the other day. I was like, I was like, I, well, so I was going back and look at my old videos and that video of yours popped up. And I'm like, holy, f- that was the hardest I think I've ever f- laughed. I was like, yeah, I slit. I'll say for the viewers and listeners, he I, had a we're, frog the size of a f- dude. Bird. It was huge. John B was like, you can catch a big ass f- fish out here. I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. I get something happens. I forgot what it was, but I got like grass or something, and I was like, F- "This." You were just being boom, funny. and I slam it on the top of the water, and as soon as I slam it, a fish comes up and engulfs it dude. right at the like boat. Throwing a rock in the water, and then the fish eating the rock. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, but, dude, your laugh was hilarious. It sounded like a steam engine. <laughs> it happens then, quite often. <laughs> your laugh in that moment just all combined Bro, was just I like, remember that moment and then I we oh, also fine. something that we always talk about is the sushi that we got after Bro, that pl- that hole in the wall that you took us to in Texas somewhere you, you might not even remember this it's a very small memory on your end it, it doesn't make sense for you to remember we fished we went and ate sushi I remember fishing what you do not know is that is the day you put me on sushi that's the first time you ever ate ever sushi. since then Tris and I, every new state we go huh. to, we always get the best sushi. I think I know where we were at. It was in Carrollton. I'm pretty sure it was close yeah. to the house. Yeah. It was so good. And dude, oh, I- um, come back to Texas and I'll take you to uh, Uchi. Okay. Uchi. New spot. Uchi is Uchi? the. 
<laughs> not Coochie. Ah. Uchi. Sorry, no, I, I didn't mean to disappoint you. It's Uchi. <laughs> Both are a little fishy at times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, depending. Let's wheel this bitch, let's reel yeah. this bitch back in. You let's, like, let's tighten oh. down the drag. You like what I'm doing yeah, here? There you go. Pin the drag. Okay, okay, okay. Reel okay. it back okay. in. Okay. Put her, put her in the forward. Go right. off, sis. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it up, B. <laughs> he said he tried to say that uh, in, with his country friends, but they just didn't. My understand. country friends. <laughs> just my friends. Well, they're from the <laughs> country, so. You mean my friends? <laughs> <laughs> you my friends. All right, God damn it. Back in the day, Fisher Midwest, he would tell you what reel to get, which to stay away from. Even you know, rods and, and shit. And gave you all of the culture behind it, including the Japanese specialties what that you, you had to get from need overseas. To what about okay. the reel that you bought from <laughs> the... Jesus Christ. Was that it? Tangent, <laughs> the reel that you, uh, the <laughs> company gave it to you and you tried to sell it. What was that? Wait, what? Oh, oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> Wait, which one is that? <laughs> Y'all are digging in the graveyard Dude, of my memory the, right now. You're real over there that has the red handles and shit like that. Zipfasun? No, 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 no. It's something like that what where you you can like mod out your freaking oh, real. ZPI. Dude. Yeah. Dude, we're you bringing had back the iconic memory. Shimano with the purple handles. Yes. Do you remember oh. your your blue? I forgot about Yo, that. Yo, shut the I'm about to bring some shit back. I'm about to bring some shit back. Bring it back to I'm bringing it back. Do you remember your... <laughs> Yo, do you remember your teal blue bolt oh, on your fuck, GoPro? Yeah. yeah. Ordered that shit on Amazon. <laughs> he said, I saw this shit yesterday. Let me put it in the Bezos, fucking note. Bezos, where, where, where's my affiliate yes. link? Where's yes. my affiliate link? Let's go. Bro. Damn, that's funny. As okay, that's all right, cool. mother... This is bringing. I feel like we're talking about memories as a kid what or this, some shit. What's crazy is it was like basically our childhood. Memory lane just turned into memory highway. Yeah, it's it's hell. yeah, it's flooding. There's a rumor on the streets. John B. Rowland. Maybe you can dig back into fish in the Midwest. I can mm. do it. Apparently, Guggen may or may not be coming out with reels in the future. If it's true. You don't have to say yes or no right now. Okay. If it's true. Could we get a verbal promise right now that we get a fish in the Midwest real review? Like an authentic OG. Authentic? Like, you, you take, need to go you back. You take loose, Shimano. I don't even know anymore. You literally say. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's after that. I just dropped out of college, guys. I'm doing re reviews. For, <laughs> <laughs> for this video, I will enroll. And then the next yes! day I drop out. Yes, that's what we need. That's all we need. Dude, I think it's worth. What it. if you? But what if you do like what those kids did with that TikTok and have like? Oh the, my God! Go to the old fish in the, the Midwest. The, the intro is you talking oh like opening the God. boxes and John, it's like John. John, some B roll shit. Wow, Caleb. Yeah. No, I think it's. I think that's, he's on it. I think if I were to do a real review video, I would have to go back to yeah. that. Wow. Style. Or I even, dude, that. there were some rod reviews that you did when you, with talk favorite. About, talk about making your, like, you guys think about, like, the shit wow. that started your, your channel, like, Damn. what popped, like, you're talking about the bass and the core. That kind of stuff helped me somehow. Yeah. People liked that. Yeah. And I kind well, of, they're wow. learning. They're, they, dude, we had no, I didn't know shit about fishing. So, like, you would say, like, oh, this is good, this is good. I couldn't buy it because I didn't have money but i if i oh what? bro i got a youtube check and spent it all yeah and then yeah. the next week i was literally eating like peanut butters <laughs> like no no it was peanut butter and jelly like, like the entire week after yeah. that and then youtube where i'd get like i, I had so i worked the job in college and then like i'd get some money and then uh actually you know what i was doing i was doing you remember fiverr yes yeah so i would write fishing articles for uh wow. different wow. blogs so i'd get like five bucks per article so i do a wow. thousand word article Get five bucks, and then that would keep me over after I just spent a band on a damn no oh. way. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So I spent my entire uh, $300 YouTube check on a reel, review it, and it just somehow worked. That's wow. awesome. But and no, I would love that. That's a great idea. You guys are honestly inspiring me to get back and, in. And is it, isn't now. it kind of crazy that, like, I, I know you. When we said that we used to watch you back in the day, did you really believe it at the beginning of this podcast? Well, I didn't know to what extent. I mean, dude, I was making videos in like 2011, 2012. Yeah. So I didn't know what, I mean, what to extent me, that, could, it was. that could be like two years ago. And that's a long yeah. time ago. I don't no, know. No, no, no. No, I, I did not believe you guys. I just didn't know to what degree. I will that say. That is cool though. Wow. It is my heart. very weird. That's what I was telling to you. It's like, it's very 
weird that you went from like even beyond this podcast this podcast becomes way more weird when i like intrinsically think about it in my brain it's like how the f did i finesse john b to being a viewer to <laughs> become a well, yeah, well, you said that. i watched this and i'm like this is so f well caleb and i were listening to it i don't know where we were going but we were listening to the one with Paul and uh, Fanatic. Fanatic. Fanatic called me like secretly. He's like, hey, bro, I got some crazy news. I was like, bro, what happened? I have some exciting shit to tell you about so, Pokemon, so, by the way. So, yeah, you're in it, bro. But, but <laughs> what he, he, said, he said, you know what's crazy? Don't do it. He said, you know what's crazy? He said, bro, John B called me about Pokemon. I said, bro, that's great. That's good, bro. I'm glad you finally got connected. He said, no, no, no. He listens to your podcast, bro. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's it. John listens so, to the so pod? We, so, we, so I was listening the whole way there, and I'm like, so the first and foremost, the only podcast that like, I like, I don't get it really, the whole podcast thing. Yeah. Because there's a lot. I listen to Rogan. Right. Just because it's entertaining. Yeah. And then y'all were doing the podcast, and I kind of got on it late, and I'm listening to it. I'm like, this is so good. Yeah. Oof. It is It is so good. Not only is the fact that, because you guys are really trying whereas some people will just sit down with the mic yeah. and they just start spewing yeah. right like you're asking questions there's actual dialogue the guests are hilarious yeah like i just paul, did a paul, month paul i did a fanatic was hilarious bro. Was i rolling. did a yeah. month they're of, easy we dying, they're easy dude. well bro. dude i just did a month of research on you so <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Brandon. I'm just, I'm just getting caught up. <laughs> Brandon, I'm going to go in there like I've been watching this shit for years. <laughs> <laughs> but we got to sell it like we know what the f I think he does fish bass mostly. Ba is it bass? Is that the species? Okay, cool. All right. What is that? Break on what three. Is that? One, two, what three. What is that brand? And, and what is the that? brand that he used to be sponsored by? Google Shimano? Yeah. Is it hey, Shimano? Hey, let me, let, me ask you a, let me ask you a question. I don't know if we can talk about this, but. I'm open book, man. I don't, I don't, but it might be like kind of weird. Does it's six inches. Oh, I'll keep going. Sorry. I talk, think that's pretty big. Talk to me when you're, <laughs> talk to me when you're 12. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Is this three pretty big? No, I'm just kidding. Hey, uh, never mind. It's kind of like treacherous. No, territory. go ahead. Does, does favorite still exist? Oh, barely. I think. But they're still a company. Yeah, they're still a company. Okay. Um, no longer affiliated for a little bit, it was a good relationship. I had always had my qualms with them. Okay. I don't know. Um, this is not to be spiteful. I was just more curious. No, not spiteful at all. I just, it I was just, like you're y'all in the eyes of. I always consider myself a viewer. I'm also a like peer now, but like in the eyes of a viewer, it was y'all's first business move. Whether right. y'all were doing shit behind the doors I think, or whatever, I think, I think I think in general it was a group mentality decision to kind of all be on board with favorite. Cool, got it. Whether you know one person was kind of fifty percent and the other right. person was a hundred percent in. Um, no, I mean I'm sure there's I'm sure uh, actually matter of fact I know for sure they're doing they're doing good. Good, they're still a thing. Well, that's cool. the thing. We uh, had a great we're experience. We're not a part of it. Well, I mean. I personally, I had a great experience with Winston. I didn't do any business with him. Yeah. We just went to the Amazon with yeah, him. Yeah, Trish and I have never done any business at all, actually. So we've kind of... <laughs> so then we, we have no quarrel with no one. It's kind of beautiful, honestly. It's, uh, it's actually pretty cool because we're all friends with you guys and y'all do business. So we just get like shit that we need for our videos. And yeah. it's just kind of, yeah. It's a good way to roll. Yeah, it's, it's been pretty chill. No, I mean, I, chill. I, 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 think it's, uh, I think it's fine. They're, they're, they're chilling. Yeah, yeah, I think they're doing yeah. okay. Cool. I was just, I said, I that will say this: literally zero bad blood. Um, that's for sure. No, for as, sure. As far as I know, yeah. There's, there's none. There's nothing. I, I didn't want to bring it up because I didn't know like where everything stood. I don't know the backstory. I just know I was going to talk about. We've been talking a lot about business. I was more curious yeah. just because as a viewer, talking about like fish in the Midwest, making real reviews and stuff. That was the first time the tape came off the brands of the rods and reels and shit like yeah, that. Yeah. And that was y'all's first business move. Yeah. The whole tape on the brand thing happened because I worked with a company, uh, when I first got out of, I still live with my parents and I, when I got to college and they promised a lot of this and that. And I found this to be true with a lot of different companies I work with. Still happens to this day. Still happens to this day. Yep. That's right. Not even fishing, just I, period. I don't know if you've noticed your headphones, but taped side. Yeah. It's more of just, bottle. It's just more of like a funny statement at this point. Yeah, but it's also like people are watching this. Like, yeah, it, like John, dude. John B. You know, he watches. It. <laughs> okay. I mean, you never know. I might have bought uh, what is it, Zephyr Springs? Uh, 
Zephyr Hills, but Zephyr Hills, whatever. <laughs> Close enough. Exactly. That's why it's taped. Yeah. But I can still tell. So you better tape it up more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but I mean that, that like where was I going with this? You're we're, the company that we're just talking about oh, how oh, you yes. how you got yeah. so like I mean I the the whole taping thing for me started because of one of like the one influence was Rob. Rob was like, you know, tape your shit guys you know yeah you know, i want to promote them and i'm like yeah no i kind of agree with that and still to this day i'm like you know as an underdog at that time it was like you don't want to you don't want to promote some person's well brand. you don't know the power of what you were doing at the time yeah like, pe- well people were also like what are you using i'm like yeah oh i want to tell you what i'm using but i'm also like i'll give you the specs like seven foot medium heavy but i'm not gonna tell you yeah. what rod it was and then there's basically this company uh who i was working with they they set up a deal with me and i just really never got paid like legitimately yeah. never got paid. Like that yeah. happened. And must, happened a lot. Must have been lucky tackle box. That happened to me. Did it really? Yeah, I never got paid. Fucker. Yeah. yeah. So maybe I should go after Monster Bass now. I guess. Remember when Flair was, was there- the face of Lucky Tackle Box? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> for real. Damn. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I totally forgot. About <laughs> wow, that. that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's a. F- and what's funny is we like he was a part of Lucky Tackle Box, and there was like this very weird, like distinct. Uh, line between Lucky Tackle Box and Mr. Tackle Box. Oh yeah, and I was like, Parrick and I were like, Yo, Flair, come on, come to the MTB party. Like, yeah. come come yeah. chill with us. And we like invite him over, and we like all play all played uh, water pong, and uh, we all chilled, and it was fun. Yeah. It was actually a good time. That that was a that was a weird time because everyone was so hungry. Yeah. Everyone was so hungry, oh, and it was yeah. a bit competitive. But what was cool is. Myself, Rob, Perrick, and Flair, and one Rod all just put it to the side. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I've always respected that because for me, and and maybe, maybe, maybe Tristan, it's uh, partially our fault. Me, Jake, and Tristan, we were friends before YouTube because we were friends with Jake before we started doing YouTube. I didn't know this. He was like, yo. This is before the, YouTube, bro. This is what's beautiful about Jake. This story is crazy. <clears throat> is um, Jake? We, I I met Jake first. I was out fishing on the the river, and I was talking to him, and I kept met, meeting him out there. And then I eventually was fishing with him, started helping him do his videos. I was like, T, you got to meet this kid. You know, I'm best friends with Tristan. So we come down. He meets. We all meet, right? Yeah. Over time. We're helping him with his videos. We're characters in his videos. He's like, you guys need to make YouTube channel so, like, eventually we can all travel the world together. He said that, bro. I'll never forget that. I'm like, ah, not our thing. You were like, really, really like helping you. Yeah, not, <laughs> not our thing. A lot well, of it work. Was just, it was just, for us, it was like, dude, I went to Dick Sporting Goods, bought a $25 uh, kit that had goggles, fins, and a snorkel that I also got the money from my stepmom. Yeah. yeah. And it's just not our f- lane. I was just like, dude, this is so cool looking at these fish. Like, I was an outdoorsman, but dude, I was just having such a good time. Like, I was in college. My focus was get a degree, go get a job, right? And there was, I didn't even really know what the whole YouTube world, I didn't know anything. I didn't know they were making so money did, or anything. Did, did, were you guys, did you guys, have any interest before y'all met Jake to to dive and do any of that? You guys, um, I've, so water. I've always been around water. But the thing is, like that, like that. That's pretty incredible. Like you talk, like earlier, we we're talking about like switching gears and trying to like learn a new. I guess to us, Jake is the Godfather of River Treasure. If that makes sense. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say, yeah, I mean, but what I'm trying to say is like we're talking about like how to uh, switch up on a dime. Like yeah, you know, going from f- like fishing to f- like within Flair's case, like fishing to farming yeah. to construction, like. But what's insane is y'all were able to just pick this up that quick. It was just fun and natural, well, I, bro. I, I was, was like, but imagine like, if you go to a creek and find tadpoles and you're like, oh my God, so many tadpoles. I know, but what y'all are doing you is know? a lot different. Well, like, from I, my point of view, like I can't even <clears throat> snorkel. And yeah. I know I'm in the minority, but like yeah. there's a lot of people who cannot do that. It's, I've always been a good swimmer, always yeah. been around water, always fish, always did whatever, like right. always would throw on a pair of goggles when we would go trout fishing in the rivers and, and look at the trout and but, then we'd go catch them, like stuff like that. Mind you, like we started in the Galloway too, bro. Like in the fishing world, we started out with but it is, from hooks my point and of view, worms. Watching y'all's video, it does not gill. seem like that. Right now, but if you go back and look at our shit, bro, it's like... All of our footage was underwater because we had to cut it every 20 seconds because we had to pop up for air. Huh. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah, now... You, you, had the, you had the discipline to 
Yeah, I mean, it's because it, it was bro. fun, bro. To me, that I know. was that was a, setting the hook on a ten pounder every time I. Good, good at fishing is like you just keep fishing. How you yeah. get good at diving and, and snorkeling and treasure hunting? Try not to die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to get good at not dying. Yeah. You have to yeah. think like that. That's that. Like the thing is, like y'all are talking about, like the whole things have drastically changed. I mean, I got a slice of humble pie when I went with him. Yeah, and I was like, I couldn't believe it. I mean, the, not, not to be disrespectful, John. I literally could not believe that no, you're I, diving I, and even swimming skills. It's impeccably despicable. <laughs> I knew we were. in I'm trouble. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me. I like just like. Kid. I knew we were in no, trouble when you were putting on the wetsuit. I was like, oh, <laughs> we, are, we are in for it. But well, this is this Bro, is I, something I will say I was scarred the first time. Uh I put I don't know if you guys ever heard this story. I put um the first time we went sp- uh, spirit fishing, I got one of those Amazon masks. Mm-hmm. One of Wait, those ones with the like, full yeah. face <laughs> like bubble mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot <laughs> dive with that. No, no, you can't. Thanks. <laughs> thanks now for telling me that. Yeah, you can't. You're about three years late, but I appreciate yeah. it. You literally cannot. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't clear. <laughs> so I put this thing on, and the guy who was telling me about how his brother had died <laughs> from the GT, he's like, oh, he's like, you're going to go in at that? I'm like, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And I go in. We just don't know. Instantly, just filled up with salt water and like, <laughs> and uh, I'm dude. like, I look down and it's like 50 feet of just straight coral reef. I'm like, oh my. And I like, the thing with me is it's a panic thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, it takes a certain physical and mental ability to do what y'all do. And that's wild. Like I like, th- yeah. that, and you guys, I know you've been in fact with the outdoors and swimming yeah. and th- but it's incredible as to how. I mean, dude, we were we were just, diving in like rapids and shit, yeah. and swimming through caves yeah, under yeah, the current, river, and yeah, dirty yeah. water, like shit, man. That's like kind of my nightmare. <clears throat> yeah, you know, and it's uh, a lot of people's nightmare for real. This this isn't to like pat myself on the shoulder, but I had a long talk with Matilda, that's our manager, and um, I was telling her about like some of the diving stuff, and uh, she had no idea like the different shit. So I just surpassed a hundred foot free dive. I've actually free dove, which is basically holding your breath. Free diving means there's no tank. No tank. It's yeah. literally your body right here and your fins and, yeah, and shit. No shit. I have now free dove deeper than I have scuba dove with air. And uh, I, was, I was explaining to her all this shit that happens to your body where your lungs actually compress and they look like it's raisins. Pressure, it's pressure clouds. Oh, dude, yeah. so much shit. And... uh I didn't realize because we're in the diving world. I didn't realize how little people know about it. Well, I mean, dude, think about what yeah. we know right now. Even what you know from two months ago, right? From what we knew three years ago, it, dude. We have grown so much in the space, just like you guys have in the fishing world. You went from bitch ass fish being to with 14. Mystery Tackle Box, which is <laughs> now dude. doing great, to building your own company. It's like. Dude, we sit back. This year, you caught your PB, 14 pounds. I'd it's hope nuts. it was your PB. Jesus yeah. Christ. And, and you've caught some amazing fish, and you were on a streak of just catching some stellar fish. We, we get on stretches of diving and stuff like that, but what we need to do as content creators is kind of pull it back a little bit and take it in the moment, kind of like that, that style of what was your favorite part of today's video? Like what, what was the favorite yeah. part? You know what I mean? Because you get in that menta- mentality of like film, post, film, post, film, post, and you don't take in the, try, holy try, shit, dude, I went to Hawaii and that shit was yeah, so try, beautiful. Trying to get people to realize that like, that's a big f- deal. What right. you just did is a big, big But even deal. set aside from what the people will think, like, dude, you inside. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I you know I'm what I mean? Like, yeah. Through, through your own reaction, Sitting down and kind of having a self reflection, right? Reflection. Because rather than f- sitting there on the boat and be like, "Oh my god, I just caught a fourteen pounder," you're like, "We just caught a fourteen pounder," and you're telling these people what you're—that's your job and that's what you want to do—is tell this story of the fourteen pound bass that you caught because that's uh, that's what we live for—is sharing this. But that's what also people need to understand: is did we lose a lot of the ex- the we experience? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because today, like today, for instance, we went out and fished and didn't pick up a camera other than my phone. And it was one of the funnest things. And it, it will most Giggling likely... like little bitches, bro. Yeah. Like little kids. Yeah. And one of the funnest times that I've had in a while where I wasn't thinking about anything but getting that fish in the boat and fucking laughing my ass off and with my boy. appreciate stuff like that. Yeah. But like I, I found that when like a YouTuber or any sort of content creator really peels it back and shows their like true authentic self. 
in whatever they're doing, it does not go unnoticed. Right. Like people are like, you really like Tristan looked like he was really having fun yeah. today. And it could have been like, you know, I don't know. I, I sometimes value the quality of comments over maybe you like views. There's been times right. where like the video is yeah, so no, good, absolutely. but I'll, I'll like, okay, why? And I'll look at the comments, but all the comments are amazing. Yeah. Like people are like, Oh, he's back. He's back doing what he's loves yeah, to he, do. I love seeing yeah. you happy, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But that's a good point. I mean, I think, I think there, there is a, uh, there's a lesson to be learned there. Yeah. You know, and, just and t- doing a bit of self reflection, um, appreciate like really not taking advantage of, advantage of the situation of what you're doing yourself. And then also relaying that to the people and yeah. being like, you know, what, what we just did was incredible and so blessed to do this. And yeah. holy thank you guys. Yeah. Thank really. you all. Yeah. And that, there's no better thing. I mean, yeah, that's, that's just it. It's like none of this shit is possible without, without not to, them. That sounds so, so cheesy and this is so yeah. restrictive, it's but like it's, there's no other way to say it also. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, you know? it's, it's, it is really cool to dive into the comment section and what's super different about podcasts is for some reason, bro. dude, the comments are like wild. They're like paragraphs rather than like most people would be like, dude, dope video. Glad to see you happy. Or these they, people are like, post like, hi, I am 60 years old. I have four grandkids. Though. Yeah. You look like one of true. my grandkids and it really reminds me of my grandson. Like I don't get to see my grandson. And by much, the way, blah, blah, blah. the story wow. you told about that, dude, just they go keep on. going. I'm like, dude, we it's, love you guys for it's, because it's, of that. It's, I think it's because it's very true, genuine, unfiltered, dialogue right. i think this podcast was important for tristan and i i think it really was because all you get on youtube of us now because we've had to play to the platforms you get what's up guys brandon J. today we're gonna da 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 and yeah. then we start doing that and then it's like we just da 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 and it's like yeah and then when you're done with it you're like okay yeah then you're like you're like well, just just checked out of my job just clocked out yeah <laughs> and that's not the point of why we're on this right exactly, we're on this we're on this bro. because of like true authenticity and you're doing this because it's fun. Yeah. Right. And, and that's it, why and we've been, a, we've been talking for two hours and seven minutes, just catching up and shooting the shit and just having yeah. fun. That, yeah. That's what's in. We've and we've just gone off and on tangents <laughs> and laughed. And you know, what's crazy. There's 27 people that are going to be like, I remember that purple yeah. reel that yeah. John had. Or, or, or like, remember a moment that we brought up oh. during this, like, yeah. That goes way back. Or they're going to be like, I really wish I knew who went upstairs while yeah. John B was getting tatted. You know what I mean? <laughs> downstairs. It was, it was downstairs <laughs> oh, downstairs. Downstairs. But still. But anyway, man, absolutely incredible podcast, I think. Yeah. I think this is one for the Genu- books. Genuinely, this, this is our longest by oh, far. For sure. I thought about cutting it up and, and doing two, but I think we're just going to let it roll with the two hours. And honestly, bro... I love the fact that it worked out with one of your tours and that you were able to come down. I wasn't, I was, even if I know we could have got you, I was, was going to push. I was like, <laughs> like, come on. This so man. glad it that was, you were able to, come it was on. an honor, honestly. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I, it's been, a, it's been too long since I linked up with y'all. Yeah. It was under good circumstances, worked out and no, I, I'm just call me in a couple months, do round two. But honestly, I'll uh, do some stupid shit so I can talk. Yeah, about yeah, that's what we're, we're like. We got to get arrested, blah blah. Perfect. But honestly, we want to we want to say congratulations with the baby, with Thank the you. woman, yeah. and uh, just where you're going in life right now, man. It looks good from the outside. So. Yeah, no, it is great, and I I'm, hope it is. Never thought in a million years I'd be a father at 26, but yeah. it, you know, Kaylee and, uh, and Milo are like. Yeah. absolute freaking world I'll that's freaking awesome sit there not doing anything just scroll through <laughs> pictures so Damn. that's freaking so sick got a closer in. for you yeah got to bring it back the way we brought it in jojo bars 33 fish in the midwest john b rolling fish sink picks <laughs> what can we expect I love how he laid that in there <laughs> what can we expect this year 2022 we're five months in yeah by this time who all right, we're maybe six months in. Who? F- what can we expect from you, legitimately? I think. I mean, relaying to this whole. I mean, the overall theme of this podcast seems to just kind of be getting back to our uh, our true selves. Yeah. yeah. So with that being said, I, I think that this year, you know, I'm not really going to focus on how can I upload as much as I can. How many videos can I post in a week? How can I flood my page with content? I think it's. I think this year it's going to be a lot of uh, long form content, yeah. a lot of 
stuff that I just have always wanted to film that have been in my notebook, like ideas that I've right. had and I've just never Love executed. That. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's just going to be stuff that I've wanted to film for the people. So. That's freaking sick. You know where I know where John B, John B and Flair are about to kill is when they can start taking those girls fishing. Oh God. Yeah. Babies. Yeah. They're really close in age too. Yeah. Wow. A couple months, like four, sick. four months apart. John, I know. I got to say, stoked to have you on. One we, more time. We, no, no, absolutely not. We have to turn that down. <laughs> Stoked to have you on. You uh, ended up in Florida some beautiful way. We flew Tristan in. The podcast means a lot to us. We got you a bass. We got you a big bitch that we actually need your help to take out to put back into <laughs> the lake. Oh, I thought you were going to say you're, you're going to need my help to flay it. But so, yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> with that That's being fine. said. That's it, boys that and girls. He's going to wrap it up for the Banger Podcast. We have to get a Polaroid after this. Congratulations, John B., JoJo Bars, whatever you want to be called from here on out you are an honorary bang bro here in the mother banger barn with your boys b and t thank you guys so much for if listening if you've made it this far god damn you go guys are sick no go get a life hey you. cheers to you baby <laughs> jesus christ uh let's get a uh polaroid here thank you guys so much for watching viewing subscribing doing everything podcasters do love you guys Holy shit, we just talked for two hours and Holy 12 minutes. Now, uh, Tristan, this is going to end, but wait, wait, wait. There's no other way we can end this podcast by giving the people one last just shout and scream of- You uh, pressed it last time. Can I press it this time? Go ahead, bro. You yeah. deserve it. Oh, my God! You're an idiot, dude. That was a 10-pounder. What were you doing? That was a 10-pounder. You, you should have grabbed him. You're should've kidding me, dude. Him. Are you insane? Don't put that on me. God damn it. Dude, that was your fault. Just imagine dude. if you did grab him. You know what I'm saying? Who knows what would happen? All right, thank you guys. We love you, and uh, we'll fucking catch you on the next podcast. Peace. Promise it won't be two hours. Ludicrous. Holy shit.